Plik, plak, plik, 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 yeah. <laughs> Apparently, this is, a big, <laughs> this is a big meme in the Netherlands at the moment. So, yeah, there we go. But You're a big meme in the Netherlands right now. <laughs> Me? That's a bit scary. But, yeah. Okay, guys. So, yeah, welcome to Rampant Lion Reviews once again. I'm joined by Thomas Opent from the Netherlands. We are live here in Winshorten in his Dutch oven. It's had to be done. And Douglas is sideways. He's got a bit drunk already. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Douglas has gone sideways. Yeah, but we are joined by Douglas Hesselmans, who is the man behind Beers with Douglas. Just, just yep, that. yeah, that's me. Could you just fix the your your flip? He did the flip flop. <laughs> he did the flip flop. He took it a little bit too hey. We were just joking. Yeah, and, 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 and that on my age? Mm. But you are old as <laughs> old. I'm too old. Yeah. Some Sorry. Like, what kind of people like balls? Women. Oh, straight women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Looks on this set. Hi. Yeah, well, you did ask. You did ask. I did, did, yeah, did yeah, ask. yeah, yeah. True, true. And what, what, did you, what, what did you... What did you... No, I, I like you. I won't touch you because it's Corona. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dougie, you were saying... What what did you guys eat tonight? Food. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We had, we had sustenance. We had a cur we had curly fries, chicken, and a little cheese. Egg. Okay. Egg sticks. Che cheese like spring roll thing. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, it was good. Yeah, food. It was good. Okay. It was fine. How about you? Yeah, I, I ate some rice and uh, funky fried chicken, and that's all. Wait. No chicken tonight? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, that's that stuff. No. <laughs> real, real, chi real chicken. Real chicken. Ah. Real chicken. Get some real chicken in you. What, no, what are we going to going to drink, you guys? I thought we were going to start with the La Trap. Ah. Yeah, we're going to start off great, man. Get the La Trap out, buddy. Which one from the trap? The quad, quad. Ah, okay, nice. Oh yeah. Would you want to do the split? Because you're better at splitting than I am. Is that a euphemism there, or? Well, both. <laughs> anyway, Douglas, get your little trap quadruple out. We're not playing tonight. Sorry. Get your little trap quadruple out. We're not playing tonight. No, oh, I don't have a uh, La Trap quadruple, uh, at least not the normal one. I only have a barrel H one. Ah, okay. So I'm starting with uh, oh. with this one. The Brood Lines. Uh, yeah. It's a Naipa from the Open. You go for it. 5.3%. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go get a different... Do you want to finish that or do you want to get your own one? Right now. Mm. No, I thought we were going to do the the the, the, the these things. Yeah, we've, got a few, we've got a few comments, people joining us already. So we have Valdo. Good, good evening, guys. Prost, cheers, skull mm. servicing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got T saying hello. Right yeah. There. So we've got Tony Argola, Blaze, Dank Kush. Dank Kush. That's, yeah, I know what Dank Kush is. You know, that's a good Kush. Dank Kush, Blaze, Dank. Okay, Blaze. Getting Blaze is mean getting stoned, and Dank Kush is like very good quality Danky weed. So Blaze, Dank Gush, Kush. I'm not into I'm not into herbal medicines as much. As no, but I know exactly what it means though. Experience, yeah. Uh, herbal, 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 herbal medication, yeah. Severio saying hello. Today I enjoy your show with some Balkan dark beer. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, there, is, there we are again. Normal at this time on Saturday. We're enjoying beers at a bar with friends, but this is a good substitution. Yes, it is. That's okay. what we do. Okay. Yes. Uh, while uh, Valdo's on the Galden Carlos Imperial Dark Blue, that's a good one. 
That's an interesting one. Shit. Here's apple strudel doppelbock in the glass. Ooh. That's Davor. always one. <laughs> Davor is watching us again. Good evening. I'm Davor. sitting Ultia and their sequence series 29 Space Side Blend. I actually had that one, remember? Show it to you. Oh, yeah. How does Davor get this? How does Davor get this stuff, man? Because he's Davor. Davor's like Davor must be like in the Balkan Mafia or something, like just an underground network of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Menno, Menno. Menno Van Zeeland, yeah. Awesome, nice, nice. Hello. And uh he's the same. I'm sitting with Menno at my home and drinking nice autumn oh, beer. Wow. Nice. Oh, oh, autumn beer, right? Okay. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Cool. We've got a largely Dutch audience tonight. This is cool. We've got a big Dutch oven. A huge Dutch oven, yeah. yeah. How's the New England IPA, Douglas? Yeah. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Hazy. Nice head. Mm. Mm. Fruity. I lost my beer. I'd love to join you for tasting those, but I've, I've lost mine. There's still some in the bowl. You're my guy. I'm She stole your beer. She stole Thomas's beer. <laughs> stole it back. Hi, Fleur. How are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. This entire live stream has already gone off the rails. In the foot. We're going to get on the rails in a few moments. Everything is... All the way up, everywhere. I wonder if, oh, did I get, I wonder if I got my dislike yet from my friend. You should check. I won't check. No. Yeah, well, oh, I was just there. I wonder if I got my dislike from my friend. No, I didn't. Oh. I've got he a hasn't yet. I've got a, it's quite funny. I've got a serial disliker on the channel. Like, every time the beer hooligan has a stream, he goes yeah. through dislike, dislike, dislike. It's quite funny. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's funny. It's, funny. <laughs> it's literally. It, it's so. It is. Oh, Douglas. Oh, yeah. You is your dog a border collie? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. guys. Yeah. Doug, Douglas has a dog, and it's a border collie, and it's fa it's fabulous. And I'm going. I'm going to steal it from him and take it back to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> hey. it's, it's, his name is Dodger, by the way. Dodger the duck. And I'm, the and I'm in love. See, see, Douglas, this is where I need to correct your English a little bit. You have to say, you don't say dog, you say Doug. Doug. Like if dog. Like a you, a Doug. Yeah. Dog. Doug. Doug, yeah. yeah. Like, like, my, like my name, Doug. Doug, yeah, a Doug. In, <laughs> Scot in Scotland, it's not a dog, it's a Doug. Doug. Okay, Doug. I'll try to remember it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Doug. It's pretty good. Yeah, that is, is pretty good. But none of you get that reference. Do you like Dags? The thanks. Dags. Uh, Hund. It's um, God, that movie with uh Jason Statham and Brad Pitt with the gypsies and uh illegal fights and Smash. Smash. Mm. Talking, they're talking about bags. What like bags? No, no. I don't know talking about that. dogs. But like bags. You like dogs, you not bags. No. <laughs> no Depends. Depends. What's the ABV? What's the ABV? So Douglas, what's the ABV on your beer? The ABV on my beer <laughs> is 5.3%. Five, five Are you sure it's not 1053 No, it will be 53%. 105.3%. <laughs> <laughs> then my uh, throat will burn. No. <laughs> <laughs> but 53 is enough to start. I, alre I, I already drank uh, some beer uh, in the afternoon, so... But really? This but, is our first beer of the day, isn't it? Yeah, but, it's, but I'm noticing a similarity here between this stream and another one. Douglas's beer is off stream, so the beer, he's going to drink 10 of these. Yeah. He's got to drink 10 of them. <laughs> <And they're> just... <laughs> <laughs> going to put it in a bucket. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, 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 not, it's not a bottle. Are you going to... It's not a bottle. <laughs> it's, it's a cask. Ah, it's a cask beer, okay. Cask. Cask. Yeah. Cask oh, I did get, or cask. I did get my dislike. I did get my dislike. Yes! 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 I got my dislike. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. You know, James, when you're yeah. doing good, you're getting haters. Yeah. 
No, it's no, it's funny. It's just funny. I was wondering where my dislike. Let me see if my other video has got dislikes. I was waiting for this. <laughs> I was waiting for this. Wait, 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 wait. No, they didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's terrible, man. I, I know. I know why you got this because they envy you that you are with uh, yeah. among beautiful Dutch people. Ah, maybe where. It's because you know you know why it is. You know why it is, Douglas. It's because you're Dutch and not Belgian. Belgian. <laughs> Belgian. Yeah, you're right. We're not, we're not drinking a Belgian quadruple. It's a it's a it's a foreign quadruple. It's, a, it's foreign. F O R I N. Yes, it is. It's foreign. Will, will they also intend to other people tonight or not? Um, I think a bit later on. I need to. I need to put the link. Wait a second. I'll put the link in there. Could just invite them in, you know. What? There's no point. That, yeah, let's just put the link into the beer screen thing. Here we go. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. I bet you know. I wonder. Is it, see if that dislike is Harry, because it probably will be. Harry's a fucking troll, man. Harry. 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 Yeah. If it's Harry, like, if, no, it's, if it is Harry, I'll be disappointed. My question. But guys, we are know, we I are guess. drinking beer. Oh. T tell us something about uh, about the beer you're drinking. Oh yeah, we should. It's got, it's got a nice IV. It's it's got got we need to stop this shit. It's got a nice copper color. It's, it's got a very nice copper color. It, it's it's the a, same color as my shit. Oh good, it is. Yeah. Blue actually knows that. There's quite a bit of vanilla note in there. Mm. Yeah, it's quite copper. It's quite coppery and nice and. I think it's quite nice and coppery. It's got a nice. <laughs> Sorry. Got a nice Your newest comment. Oh, it's Valdo. <laughs> Did you really, Waldo? What's that, Waldo? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Thank you, Waldo. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I was hope I was Waldo. I, I have to ban you from the channel now, man. You had my hopes. Ban you from the you, you had you had my like you had my hopes up there, man. I was hoping my stalker came back, and you've just you've just dashed my hopes in one throw. It's like when I wanted that Lego fire station for my Christmas, like when I was four. <laughs> Yo, man, this is just this is just like no. no. Yeah. You, you need to let go. I need to let go of that fire station. Yeah. No, you need to let, let go. Bosnia. Bosnia. Yeah, there you go. Let go. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, as he's drinking. Oh, I've never had a Bosnian beer, but you will see a Bulgarian beer on the on my channel. So. Bulgarian. Bulgarian. It's still foreign. Yeah, it's still foreign. <laughs> uh, is it me? Let's quickly get to this. Yeah, we beer. should actually like be serious about the beer for a minute. Yeah. Is it? Me? I'm getting some sort of like. It's not, very not, it's, it's not like I was about to say. I'm getting a bit of a not green apple, but like a fresh crisp apple and vanilla. Mm. I can see that a bit peary as well. Yeah, definitely sultanas. Very fruity. Sultanas definitely. Sultana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sultanas, not raisin, but sultana. Foreign apples. Foreign apple. Foreign raisin. Is it what kind? Of, is it the Brayburn or an Elstar? Mm. I think it's a, a granny apple red. Granny apple red. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yeah. As you can tell, Douglas, we haven't had anything to drink just yet. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> I actually even feel, to be honest, I even feel. I do. We just get the giggle. Come on, I just get the giggle. Giggle like, oh, like two little girls. <laughs> That's mystic. Douglas, we can't be having that on my channel. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I won't do that again. Terrible. Fucking terrible. Don't like it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the, that's almost like the duvel. Do those start snorting this? Mm. Did, did you did you drink that that one before, James or not? The the little trap quadruple. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a serious review of this. I do have a serious review. Um, so we have a yeah. I, I've had this one before. I like the I like the little traps. I do like the little traps. I find them quite like smooth, quite smooth and kind of quite woody generally. Yeah, but this is very nice. So. Thing is though, and whenever I think of La Trappe, the go-to beer for me will always be the quadruple because you know, bang for your buck. Mm. The high, yeah. the nice yeah. high warming ABV, the great flavor profile, and everything. Mm. But I do think that my favorite beer from La Trappe is actually the Easy Door. I Easy Door, is awesome. I love that one. Mm. Was it Remy who showed us earlier on the, the stream that he had a barrel aged version of the Easy Door? It's it was shy, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's a shame. But I, I agree with you, uh, Thomas. It's a very good uh, uh, price-wise, also. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. For you guys, I think. I don't, how much was it in the shops here? About two euros, something, a bottle? Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. 
I think a six pack is about seven euros. Because I think we would pay about 30 kroners, so we'd pay about three euros for a bottle of which for an import is not bad. No, for an import, having... that's great, actually. Yeah. But I think it's about, I think it's less than two euros, right, Dougie? Yeah, I believe it was less than two, two euros, yeah. J just uh, uh, like the uh, app 12 uh, from, um, what's the name of the brewery again? Uh, St. Bernardus. Mm -hmm. St. Bernardus. Is also uh, under two euros, uh, I believe, one ninety-five or so. Mm. I think something like that. Mm -hmm. That's a good bang for your buck, beer as well. Mm. Yeah, I think. I think again, James does like a good bang for his buck. It's legal in the Netherlands after all. Um, oh, we still got. But I wonder. Maybe we've got the genuine. Maybe we've got the genuine disc like this time because Valdo said he took his away. Oh, and it's, it's still there. It's still got a dislike. It's still got a dislike because it's a foreign dislike, isn't it? It's a foreign dislike. <laughs> Very foreign. It is, yeah, it's good. What is that? $8.99 for six pack at the Appy. Oh, yeah, we've got a few more. Comment. So, Baldo, Baldo said, I revoked my dislike. Did you really? Maybe we've got a real dislike now. It's great. Uh, I wonder if that is my, my serial dislike. Hey, Tasty Tales. <laughs> Tasty Tales. Ow! They've been commenting on my videos for years. Nice this, is that that this is the first time on one of the streams. Actually. They make such cool, uh, cool videos. Hmm. Those guys from Tasty Tales. Hi, Douglas. Oh, we lost Douglas. Wait, did we? No, we didn't. Ooh. Hi. Hello. Oh, I thought you fucked up for a second. I, I, just, I, I just, I just said that those those guys from Tasty Tales they make real, real nice videos. Hmm. They do. They really do. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like the Tasty Tales videos, yeah. And some high quality end stuff there. I've talked with um, one of the people behind Tasty Tales at a, at a small festival ones. And it's like they, they've really got a passion for what they're doing. They really want to make these big spotlights on these breweries, not just, you know, create a simple video, but really put a spotlight on it. Mm. High quality gear, really editing it out to a lovely video. Mm. The stuff that they're doing is just amazing. Mm. Tasty, um, I, I remember Tasty Tales from them. I think they professional was back in the professional world. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Tasty Tales were coming in that my very first Dutch video was back in 2014. Okay. I'm sure they go back that far actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just a pup. Just a pup. Yeah, you, you don't look a day over 38 though. Well, I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. But yeah, Douglas, Douglas, is, Douglas is a pup. Douglas is a pup. Mm -hmm. He's He's so very young. Am I so a pup? You're a pup. A pup. <laughs> oh, a pup. Okay. Pup. So you're so young. <laughs> Sorry, I heard uh, another thing. Oh, but you're pretty. He's the youngest. He's the oldest. He's yeah. He's got the most experience. Experience. Sounds like you've got. Yeah, like you've, you've got the most experience, Douglas. Sounds like you've got competition, Thomas. The most, the most experience. The most experience in what? Being old. Yeah. True. <laughs> true. Yeah. I, I, I could be your daddy. You know, that's a good offer. I'm not going to call you daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, daddy. No. Wait, no, no daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me daddy. You can call me daddy. <laughs> we need to get we need to get Sorry, anyway, goodbye guys. I'm gonna go. We should get Remy on doing his that. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Yeah. Remy, does <laughs> Remy does that really well. Yeah. He, he does that really well. We've got Navar and saying, man, that 2019 space I blend is very Pete forward. Pete is nice. Is it? Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And we've got a face. I need more booze for this level. Too much in your eight ninety nine for a six pack in Bay Appy. That's pretty good. Uh, Douglas Tasty Tales is saying thanks. It's Johan. You're welcome. And, and then Valdo is saying, uh, does your beer taste like peach juice? Ah, uh, a little bit. It's fruity. Stone stone fruit in it. Also some some other tropical fruit notes. Not, not, not very special. It's a good one. Mm. You just, Douglas, 
you just confused the hell out of Fleur because she's having the beer here and she thought you were having the same one. <laughs> you, were doing, <laughs> you were doing tasty, tasty uh, uh, descriptions and Fleur was going like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? No. She's like, no. I don't know if she can see this, but this is my beer. He has a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fleur. <laughs> So I'm seeing something in the corner of my eye going, what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm with Tasty Tales saying thank you for the kind words of it. It's been difficult to shoot this year. All that, we understand. But Tasty yeah. Tales yeah. is back in 2021, I'm sure. Well, definitely. And otherwise, uh, how about you go film some of our reviews? They'll finally look professional. They won't be professional, but they'll look professional. <laughs> Um, and, and can, can I say it. what? Mm-hmm. Can I say one thing, Thomas? Only one thing, though. Oh, oh, ugly bastards like us, they can't fix that in good video. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bont. <laughs> Douglas gets it right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bont. I'll explain that one later. <laughs> Me trying to learn Dutch words now, yeah. foreign word. We've got lol, and uh, so there is that. I had the trap quadruple Sorry. cognac barrel, it's wonderful. Have you had the cognac? Uh, this is no, the one that I that's over there is my first. Uh, it, it wasn't that this beer, actually. Mm-hmm. No, um, the, the one that Remy sent, um, that's it's white actually wine the barrel. first uh, barrel aged one I'll ever have. I mm-hmm. mean, pushed in screen. Mm-hmm. I wanted to share a story with you because I thought you were spending up on the Here's the beautiful thing about the Let's Rock Oak Age. So today I got a beer from Remy. He was going to send some stuff over that uh, you know everybody was going to get for the channels. And he had a beer picked out for the share. And he figured since I'm not going to be there, he actually sent it over. And it's the Oak Aged uh, Quadruple Batch 38. Nice. nice. Because he knew I never had one of the Oak Aged. You never had an Oak Aged. Mm. But we never had an Oak Aged. So tomorrow we're going to film a review of that. For the channel, nice, nice, and that's amazing. And I just really, Remy, if and when you see this again, thank you so much, man, you beautiful bastard, for sending that over. That was basically the first thing I noticed when I opened that box. And as as as, as James can uh, uh, testify here, that that sort of happened in tears a little bit. Got all on, on, on which channel oh, yeah. will we review you? Mine. Okay, nice. I I hear an echo. <laughs> You got you guys also hear echo or not? No, we're not hearing echo. Oh. Hmm. There's no echo over echo. here. Echo. Echo. <laughs> what are you saying? But yeah, guys, if the, if there are, if there is bad sound quality, let us know in the uh, let us know in the comment section, then we can sort of split the laptops and do that. We can do that. If it gets really bad, just say so and yeah. um, Thomas will go in his laptop. And, no more sharing. No more sharing. No. I'm going to drink all my beers by myself. No. Bad time. Bad time. Guys, Bad. guys, tell us more about the beer. Mm, yeah. um, There's think, alcohol in it. I think it's quite phenomenal. I think this one quite phenomenal. It's got a nice kind of woody base. A little bit of that sort of caramel away from it. Oh, that's a cute baby. Sorry. <laughs> We're uh, also doing personal things here. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's quite a sort of caramelly wafery sort of thing. It's... Um, yeah, I find it quite caramelly wafer, like sort of that bready, yeasty sort of thing. Uh, Davor's saying the echo is noticeable. This is the weird part here, though, because if it gets really bad, we'll do the split laptop thing. But I do want to know, you say the phenomic thing, and then I'm smelling it, I'm like, yeah, there it is, and then no, it isn't, and there it is, and... It comes in and out, yeah, yeah. like echo. For me, mostly, now, it's that fresh <laughs> apple, crisp apple, pear. Mm. Yeah, lots of pears, lots of apples, lots of sultanas. Got a nice little bit of a kind of slightly brown breadish yeasty sort of thing, but not even so much brown bready. It's more like a kind of bread crusty kind of thing with the yeast. Yeah, um, you've got a wee bit of that kind of banana clovey type thing. Oh, this is of all the Dutch, of all the Dutch beers that want to do that sort of very big yeasty Belgian profile. This is the one that for me always gets it right with that mm. banana estery, that mm. clove. You know, yeah. the things you also find in many German. Uh, uh, top fermenting beers, mm. uh, the more yeasty forward ones, it has that big banana clovey sweetness. Mm. Yeah. 
And what does Fleur, what, what does Fleur think about Fleur? She likes it. Nothing, nothing more. Uh, it's, uh, I have to say, um, it's a it smell. Uh, it tastes a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. But yeah, it's vanilla. Vanilla. Yes, uh, as Remy would say, vanilla. Vanilla. Remy. Yeah. 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 That's not. Apparently, you need to be closer to the mic. Who, me? Yeah. Thomas, oh, yeah, but we're doing social distancing. Sorry. Um, that probably means they can't really hear you either. Oh. Uh, the, thing is, the thing is, though, yeah, it has a, um, you want to see here? There's a big, um, it has a sort of a, a, a vanilla note in there without there actually being vanilla in there, but it has that sort of vanilla sweetness. Okay. okay. Mm, I think yeah, I think that's fair. It's got a nice oaky quality. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not sweet, sweet. Mm. Again. <laughs> not sweet, sweet, but sweet. But yeah. Mm. No more slow. You know who we should invite? I'm just thinking we should get Davor in here. Yeah. Let's get Davor in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get Davor in. Davor. Davor likes to join in these things if he can. Davor is from um, Kavini. Hello. Hello. Davor's fabulous. Bam. He's my he's my Slavic my Slavic sausage. <laughs> Slavic sausage. <laughs> my bol my bol my Balkan bacon. <laughs> oh dear. We need to stop with these and you end us. Get Davor yeah, out. Yeah, there yeah, we, we go. Do. We can't do this too much. Yeah, we can't do it. Thank <laughs> you. Thomas is looking a lot, a lot better. Yeah, they're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Why should we? <laughs> well, though, said Thomas is looking a lot better now. They're not talking about me. <laughs> you want to go for a little bit of wee walk? We'll take over the stream. Ah, why not? James is going for a wee walk now. Um, Meaning we can finally talk about more interesting things. So what about those Scottish politics, guys? What do you think about that? What do you think about the Scottish <laughs> How's all of that feeling for you guys? How is that? Because, I mean, I, I'm a big proponent for, you know, James becoming president of Scotland. I like the accent. Good the accent's <laughs> nice. Oh, hey. Yeah. yeah. We forgot about our sausage. Sausage. <laughs> we'll get the sausage out soon. Oh, that was very sexual of you. No, but um, yeah, no, James is going for a small walk because he had a bit of a, a cramp thing going on. So he'll be right back. Uh, Safario. Fleur. Yeah. Is, is this yeah. the first time you're, drink, you're drinking this beer? Uh, I think. <laughs> I think um, as long as we've been together. No. It, it's where is from? You remember how last week we had one of those? Uh, we had that Vespa yeah. triple, and you were like, "This is this is one of those beers that when you yeah, go out, it's from the Netherlands." Oh yeah, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, this is one of those beers that you go out to like a nice good pub and yeah. you want to try a beer. You've probably had this without knowing it because you just go like, "Oh, have a nice beer. That looks good." No, no, no. Like it's got enough. I like uh, nice names. But it's not. I choose uh, the beer uh, of his name. Based on the name. Based on the name. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I, uh, okay. is, uh, I have to. Uh... You okay? Yeah. Because... Sorry. But but is this a beer a beer for you that you want to drink more often or not? Yes, I like this beer more than uh, the Swedish beer. Uh, like, uh, what uh, the, the there's a bears. Uh, oh, the paste, the the pastry stuff. The pastry thing. Yes. Yeah, like the pastry the, the, <laughs> Yeah, like the lactose stuff. And and the, mm. and the normal beer, uh, like pills, I don't like anymore. <laughs> no. No. Oh, okay. Well, no. And you were the kind of the barrel aged stuff, I think, right? The stuff that's been aged in like the barrel. Oh yeah. You were the big. Oh, you were. Yeah. Wait, the first I, one. I keep confusing those two. We did not on the live stream. You want yeah. the one with the. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm confused. The when you put them together. Yeah. 
There was no uh, bowl. Uh, the, uh, uh, oh, carbonate, yeah. yeah. You know, there's a word when you do, when you blend the two with beers, yeah. there's a word that, that Douglas really loves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say cuvee. Don't say cuvee. <laughs> cuvee. Okay. Ooh, that's it's, a good no, thing. it's blending. I don't, you can cuvee beer. It's blending. Blending beer. Yeah, that's what they call a cuvee. No, it's blending. I like it. It's easier blended. I can I can uh, remember. It. Blending is is when you put it in a food processor and you press the button and you blend it. Well, that's that's other so, that's, that's, that's sort of blending. But I stay put, it's blending. We're really, we're really taking over James. I can see James in the, in, the, in the kitchen. I can hear him going, what the fuck are they doing with my stream? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Poimia. How's the Poimia doing? Yeah, so Premier, uh, we've got a, a live premiere tomorrow with uh, a, a, spe a very special beer. Very special. Very special Belgian beer. Premier. It's not a Trappist, but it's a very special Belgian beer. Belgian. Belgian. It's a Belgian beer. It's Belgian. Foreign. Foreign. <laughs> foreign. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we've got a premiere at 12 lunchtime tomorrow, European Central Time, 11 a.m. Uh, Brit uh, GMT. So yeah, all okay. of you guys, all of you guys, make sure you tune in for this one. So uh, yeah, so it should be pretty. It should be pretty fun. It should be pretty fun. We tried to take it seriously. I spat out a bit of foam and stuff, so that was fun. Oh yeah, he snowed it. He snowed it. I inhaled a bit of foam and it was. It, so it's pretty okay. fun. Okay. Yeah. It's a good chance I watch uh, tomorrow. There's no chance you watch tomorrow. It's a good chance I watch uh, tomorrow. Oh yeah, but it's it's a premiere, so it's pre-recorded and stuff. But it's gonna be yeah, with the channel's very first premiere. Premiere. <laughs> premiere. Belgian yeah. beer. Belgian premiere. Belgian beer. Foreign. Foreign. <laughs> 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 although I like although I like my craft beers, I still fancy a good uh, German or a Dutch lager. Oh yeah. But you have to drink the German. You, you can't drink the German ones because that's foreign. foreign. James, <laughs> yeah, saying that it's foreign isn't a waste. It's not. It's just an opinion. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. Because you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're. Uh, what's it again? Uh, yeah. Oh God. So that's why you don't drink Belgian beers because it's it's foreign and it's. Ah, uh, oh, I love my Belgian brothers and yeah. sisters. <laughs> I like opinions. I like. I like it. Especially mine. <laughs> I love your body. Yeah. So Douglas, you, 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 you look as if you're in a shed just now. How much was your shed? Sorry? How much was your shed? About 12,000 euros. Yeah. My shed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get that reference. <laughs> he doesn't get that reference, sorry. Mom? Shed, you, you, you mean like my house or not? Oh, do you not, do you not get that one? Okay, well, okay sorry. Well, it's pretty later. Ex Explain it to me. No, not now. Not the now. Not okay. the now. There's a, there's, a, there's, a for, there's a foreign shed that apparently cost £12,000. So I, okay. I thought you looked as if you were inside a shed with your nice wooden roof. So I was asking you how much your shed cost. I wondered if it cost more than 12 grand. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are crazy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. How long have you known me? Yeah, but I didn't know that James was that crazy. Oh, I knew. It took me about five <laughs> seconds. He so that's I, I feel offended now because it should be you should understand it's genetic. Okay. Yeah. They had the uh, breakfast. Breakfast. We're not going to dance. Flip <laughs> <laughs> flop. Bum -bum -bum -bum. We're going to make this the intro of, it, of your new channel. Oh, yeah, but well, it has to have. Well, Sorry? The flip flop, bum bum bum. Flip flop, no. bum bum bum. No, sorry, I listen to normal things. 
and he has a trouble <laughs> with something. Right? Oliver, where are you to? On the Netherlands. Is Terry Wogan on Radio 2 in the Netherlands? Who? Terry, Wog yeah, Terry Wogan doesn't exist in the Netherlands. No. He's, just, he's a figment of imagination. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What? I'm in between here. I'm Terry Wogan was the quite a famous Irish guy who used to be on the English radio. Oh, I've heard of his name. Terry Wogan, yeah. I, th I think he died, actually. I think Terry Wogan died. I don't know. Terry, my mum used to listen to him on the, uh, on the radio all the time. No, no, Terry Wogan was all right. Terry Wogan was all right, as well, from what I remember. Have you ever heard that that that, that British guy? Uh, I, I believe he's a British guy uh, or Scottish. I don't know. Um, Tiny Tim with that high voice. No, you don't know. No, I will. I will, I, I will send you. I, I will send you a video later. That guy is ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of voice. Yeah. <laughs> the Christmas pool. <laughs> oh, that's Mr. Hanky, yeah. That is Mr. Mr. Hanky. Hi, ho. I want to see if it's real. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. We've got two. One of those. Oh! Yeah, woo! We've got two dislikes. <laughs> yeah, we've got two dislikes. We've got two dislikes. Now. Terry Wogan died in 2016. I think it was maybe the comment about this. I think it was maybe the comment about the, the shed. I think it was when we asked you how much how much your shed was. Yeah. Was that's probably what's done it. Oh, yeah. yeah it's because we're talking about foreign sheds. Yeah, yeah. step problem, not mine. Oh yeah. Oh, it's all good. It is all good. Thomas and I are having a bit too much fun. I think. We are. Yeah. We're also having too much to drink, which is. I wouldn't have said we had too much to drink, to be honest, but. What is too much? Yeah. <laughs> It's relative. Yeah, Oops. I believe so. Isn't Darfur coming uh, in the chat? No. Mm. Okay. He's a scary camp. He's, see, he's, see, he's seen it. He's maybe trying to get ready. Sometimes he needs to just get himself ready. <laughs> what are you saying? Huh? Oh, that. Davo wants to. You know why? Davo needs to start a channel. Yeah, he sure does. <laughs> Davo should start a channel. We probably should start talking about beer. Why? I don't know. What's your favourite beer? Satan Red. <laughs> What's your favourite beer? An open one? Would you say you got a drinking problem? No, I got it pretty much figured out. <laughs> Have you ever been to an AA meeting? AA is for quitters. AA is for quitters, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Yeah, we've been reviewing some nice stuff today, I think. Oh, we have been. We had uh, an IPA from your local brewery. We had. Um, Mertzen. We had some Mertzen. We had uh, the barley wine. We did a Scottish beer as well, which will appear on. on uh, that was quite nice. Which, which, which one? It was Fierce, one of the co the versions of um, Racer Cafe. Cafe Racer. Did you just say Racer? Racist cafe. Racist. I, know, I know who would go there. I do as well, but yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's um, they they offer a lot of Belgian food. Well, we've had two. We've had two. We've had the two dislikes now. I think one of them might still be from Waldo because I think he was a bit worried that we'd get upset if he took yeah. away. But I think we've got one genuine one now. That makes me happy. I'm, I'm happy for you. That that does make me happy. I love I love dislikes. They're quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the dislikes are fun. The dislikes are funny. It's quite funny. I, I get a lot of, um, I get, I've had a lot of trolley, like attempty trolley comments recently, and every single one of them seems to have similar grammar to a certain person, and uh, set a set, well, a certain thing. Um, I don't know if you could classify it as human. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's quite funny. They all make the same, they all make the same grammatical errors, and it's quite funny. I've had comments like they've tried to call me. Uh, like um, the oh, so while oh, Wilder's dislike is still there. The genuine dislike, no, the I like the genuine dislike. I do like the genuine dislike. It's great. I love it. I know who it will be. I know who it is. I know who it is. He doesn't like foreigners. Um, but uh, oh, oh, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, the uh, live stream with it. Oh. Oh yeah, that's great. That's cool. Yeah, craft beer specialist. I don't yeah, know if you're you. watching, but thanks for that, mate. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. that's awesome. 
I love the fact you did that little shout out to us. That's that's great, mate. Awesome. Yeah, we got a little yeah. shout out for the yeah. for the open beer earlier. No. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Yeah, on oh, the yeah. on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Very oh, great. Yeah. It's great to be appreciated. It's great, man. It's great. Can I ask you a question, James? Sure. What is what is in your opinion, as a, a Scottish man who lives in Sweden, mm -hmm. what, what is what is your favorite Swedish brewery, and uh, your favorite Scottish brewery? Brewery. Ooh, favorite Scottish brewery. Stop, um, uh, Scottish brewery. Uh, I think in terms of all-round quality, I would say Tempest in Scotland. Tempest, Tempest Brewing. Brewing. Tempest, yeah. Tempest Brew Company. Tempest Brewing Company from Gala Shields. They are pretty much everything they do is, is really top quality. Um, Overtone in Glasgow are very good as well, but they are just, they are really focusing just on IPAs at the moment. Okay. Uh, I don't think they've, they've not really made it outside of Scotland. Okay. I think they're only just starting to get into England now. Oh, really? No. Uh, okay. Harry had a bunch of overtone beers recently. Um, we also had, um, we've had uh, a Dead End Brew Machine are very good as well. It's an Irish guy that runs that brewery, but they're a gypsy brewery. Um, okay. Vault City are another one to watch. They're the first sour beer brewery in Scotland, and their sours are great. They are very good. So probably, I would say, yeah, Tempest, I think, for all-round quality are probably the best brewery. Um, okay. And then you've got a few others that are not far away. Like, yeah, Vault City, uh, Overtone are very good, Dead End Brew Machine. Uh, I'm trying to think who else are doing some really good stuff. Sh 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 which is a brew that's actually what I've had from them. I've not had too many from the old, from the tower the your side of them actually but i need to try a few more yeah. oh, I've had, I've really enjoyed. well from what i gather brew dogs quality has been starting to go up again a little bit hey. yeah that's what okay. i've been hey. brew dogs starting to up the quality again because for a long time the beer is kind of boring um, <laughs> there's not much lower you can get I'm sorry. Mm. that's harsh but true mm. yeah brew dog like i mean i'm curious to try the double punk i've heard that double mm. punk is quite a nice beer what average we do more? So that's when it's oh, average. Uh, sorry, um, both sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, when people, when you see people being positive and negative, that's when I get interested. Because mm -hmm. now and then I'm like, okay, so this is a polarizing beer. As soon as everybody goes like, well, it's four point twenty five and untapped or higher, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you start, start seeing those polarizing comments, it means that you know there's something going on. Yeah. And. Is it public opinion because oh, it's Brewdog, it sucks, or oh, it's Brewdog, it's great, mm. or is there really something in that beer? Mm. I think there's a lot. You see, you, see, you used to see on some of the the British Facebook pages, you used to get the people that work for Brewdog like up in the the um, stats of their beer and stuff. I used to see that in quite a few. I think I've got a feeling that Brewdog were giving certain Facebook groups money to promote things. Really, I've got a feeling they were. Brewdog were very, very into their social media. That's very funny, isn't uh, it? That's very... Uh, yeah, yeah and, I think, and you've got... Um, and the thing was, you had certain people in certain groups who got very defensive if you asked them about this. They just started banning people when you asked the wrong questions. You know? Wow, okay. So it's, um, yeah, no, it's quite, uh, it was quite interesting when that started to happen. What's the last Brewdog beer you've had? I think it was uh, King Shilling, which also goes by the name Caramel Carousel. It was a Scotch ale, and I think that's in the regular range in Sistembolaga in Sweden. Um, and that was actually pretty nicely done, but not as good as Dogma was, not as good as the original Dogma, I don't think. Um, I think for me, the last one was one of the dogs, Dog. What's the newest one? Dog Edge? I could look that up. And I think it's maybe Dog H, yeah, that's the newest one, yeah. I'm going to look that up. I had that not that long ago. I thought it was pretty damn tasty, but I'm not sure if I would think it was worth the amount of money you had to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look it up. Uh, and what's the, what's the best uh, Swedish uh, brewery, in your opinion? Oh, yeah, the best Swedish brewery. Probably the best all-rounder. Dugas is in with a shout of it. Mm, Dugas. Hulia are very, very good as well. I think that they haven't brewed. The thing is, Hulia 
they're a brewery that I have an impression of that would be very good with different styles because I've tried a couple of different styles from them, not so many, but Helia Brewery are very, very strong. And I think it when, once they get more of their beers out there, they'll show that properly. But Dugas Brewery are the one that I would always recommend. From, uh, Dugas, I, Dugas, I know, but the other, the other, I haven't heard of that. Well, you're going to get, you're getting a Julia beer. You're getting like the lager beer that you're getting that I, I'm giving you is, uh, it's a Julia beer. And that's honestly one of the best lager beers I've had recently. Um, okay. So I'm hoping that it's still in good condition. I'm hoping that it's in a good, it's in good condition. Uh, it should still be, um, but you will enjoy that when it comes to you. First of all, before I forget it, I'm very grateful that you sent us these beers. Oh I really yeah, mean, yeah. I I really mean that. I'm very grateful, and um, yeah, in in one of my uh, to come videos, I will review uh, one of them or more. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like I would recommend. I mean, that, that may be the thing, if you can review as many of them as you can, because it's not, I don't know how much, how many chances you would get to try most of these again, but that's it. And, per, and perhaps we're going we're gonna to review uh, with you uh, together in the live stream, one, one or I two was, beers. I was saying to Thomas, I might be keen to do that Julia one with you, because I like the, that beer, it's, I didn't realize, I, I, I just got, I didn't realize I would still be able to get that, because I was actually going to get you the IPA from that brewery, because that's the one I know was regular. And that was the very first beer I tried. But when I saw that the lager was there, um, yeah, the lager, the lager is honestly one of the best Swedish brewed. I think it's probably the best Swedish brewed lager I've had. And uh, they're a very local brewery to me as well. Like I really late, rate this brewery very highly. So, okay. Perhaps we can perhaps we can do that one in the live stream then yeah. with with Kevin and and, uh, and Amy. Yeah, yeah, because when a brewery can pull off a good lager on a regular basis, I'm much more impressed with them doing uh, IPAs or, or uh, mm. stouts or whatever. Because brewing a good lager, it's more consist demanding, consistently yeah. mm. on the same level is very difficult. Yeah, because they've got more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they've got more. How do you say, like? Um, They've got a few good laggers. They've got a fi the Finn Pilsner as well, which is quite nice. That's a citra hopped Pilsner, which is really interesting. But I think, I, I think the Skull Swag has got a bit more malty character to it, which I really like. Which I appreciate. Yeah, I like a bit of Carapils and stuff, yeah. I do like a bit of Carapils, yeah. Is, is there a style of beer that you don't like? I would be a great fan of the ESB, the English Bitter. And um, for me, the English beers are all about the porters and the stouts. Um, so yeah, English bitters. I was never a great, the greatest fan of the brute IPAs either. Um, they're okay, but yeah, I was never a great fan of those. I would say. Um, yeah, but I think I think English bitter. If I had to pick a style that I just don't like, I just never, I never really took to English bitters. The best English bitters I've had have actually been um, Swedish. Swedish brewed English bitters because <laughs> they use American. Yeah. Swedish yeah. brew English bitters. Yeah. 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 Foreign brew. Okay. Um, the, uh, yeah, I mean, th there's a really good one that, um, oh, I forget the name of it now, but it's known as Hamong Bregory Bitter, the Deru Bitter, that's it. And then um, from uh, Nerka Kulta Bregory, they've got the Urubro Bitter as well. And both of those were actually. Really nice to done beers. I think they were brewed with like Cascade and stuff. They're like quite old school, but they use the American hops and they work out very nicely. Okay. What's your okay. Um, What's your least favorite style, Douglas? Yeah. Uh, uh, perhaps I, I also have to say the English bitter. It's not not my favorite style. Um, and all uh, all the other styles. Uh, some of the styles uh, I, I need to use need to get used to. Um, like uh, sour beers. My first sour beer I didn't like. Uh, my first saison wasn't uh, that good. Now I'm fond of saisons and 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 those beers and, and sour beers. But at first, hmm. I mean, Thomas picked out a saison for me today. I'm quite curious. I've not had a saison in ages. Actually, come to think of it. 
De, de, oh. de Oedipus. Is het Oedipus? Oedipus, de mannenliefde. Ah, ja, yeah, I drank that one. Ja, yeah. yeah, I think, I think if James wants to try a few Dutch beers, that's definitely one that he should have tried. Yeah, I actually, I actually like it. I enjoy it. I mean, it's not a classic season, but I like it. Well, it's a good one. Yeah, De- a decent one. Yeah. I'm just checking that share the link for this. Yeah, someone will have seen it. Yeah, see if some of the English guys join in a little bit. Just checking that we there. Uh, yeah, but it's still pretty early for them, isn't it? It's not even nine yet. Eight fifty. Yeah, so they'll probably come on for a little bit. We'll see later on. Yeah. Harry. Harry, I think Harry was able to miss his earlier response. Yeah, so I don't oh, know if Harry will make it. Hi. Be cool to get Harry on with Tasha. I've, met, I've spoken to Tasha once or twice. She's quite nice. Oh, really? Happy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, she's it's from Hong Kong. I thought I, I thought Harry would end up moving out there at some point. Oh, he should. But, yeah. I mean, at some point, you know, you don't want to be British anymore, do you? There's all the shite going on. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to be British in the country, but you can't. And, and did you guys also drink some uh, some Japanese beers? No, no, I never had any. I never was. I, Japanese beers are very difficult to get, actually. Um, I've reviewed quite a lot of Japanese. I think I've got about hundred Japanese reviews on the channel these days. Um, For me, about hundred. Really? Yeah. Serious? <clears throat> yeah, I've got about hundred Japanese reviews in the playlist. And I've got me okay. okay. going to bring over about six or seven more Japanese viewers for me when eventually she does, you know, get across here. So I've got a guy in Osaka who keeps some of the beers for me. So if I see darker and higher alcohol ones, he keeps them aside for me. So okay, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I, I I think I only drank uh, one or two Japanese lager in a in, in a restaurant. That's mm-hmm. that's the only two I think. The only one I've ever had uh, was a lager in a, in a Japanese restaurant. It said Jap- it was Japanese beer and everything until I read the label. I think I was like 16 or something, and I was only just allowed to drink, really. And it said brewed in Scotland. I was like, well, there you go. That's probably one of the few in the I know is that I was supposed to be drinking a Japanese beer brewed in Scotland. <laughs> Amazing. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, your looks like you. Oh yeah, we've got some. Wait to see here. Uh, we've got Sergeant Pepper sat. He's on from Orsop. It's quite interesting too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Tai Tai um, from Oedipus. Yeah, I had that many like a couple of years ago. Actually, I reviewed Tai Tai. Still get that in the supermarkets here. Uh, we've also got BL saying looks like you're too loyal. Hey, uh, you're too loyal. Hater fans are here, James. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I think one of them is Waldo. I don't know if Waldo removed his one. Um, but I think yeah, I think it's a ser- I think it's a, a, ser- a certain one. It's quite I, I love I love the dislikes. It's quite funny. I was wondering where my hater my hater had been. I made a little post on the channel like um, I gave my my hater like a shout out. It was quite funny, and then yeah, they just disappeared. That's a bit sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, t- yeah I, I always yeah. look out. I always looked out for my dislikes. My one or two, sometimes two disliked. Um, but um, yeah, mine is. Uh, well, I was just saying that he removed his, so I did get two dislikes. <laughs> yeah. Is it something wrong on the screen? Mm. It's weird. Oh yeah, there's a little spot there where it's a bit That's a spot. Yeah, yeah. Can I um? Oh yeah, go for it. Yeah. So yeah, well, I was saying that he removed his dislike. Oh. Um, and then uh, haters are more loyal than anyone. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 Put it back. <laughs> Let's refresh and see. Wait a second. Maybe we've got more. Maybe we've got more. It could be Harry trolling us. I thought originally it was Harry that was trolling us. It's not. Oh, yeah. I need to finish. Mm-hmm. Sorry for showing too much stamina. Um, keep up the awesome comment. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. I'll do lots of foreign and Belgian beer. <laughs> uh, and uh, no channel can do it without haters. Oh, I wonder how many dislikes my poemier has. Poemier. Let, me let me see. My poemier. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, let me see. The, any of the other ones? No, none of my other. None, none of my normal. Video. None of my normal videos have the dislikes. That's a shame. Um, 
Slovenia in the house. Yeah, how's it going, Davor? Oh. Davor, you're, you're looking very delicious with your beard, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, apologies in advance for my English. <laughs> Sorry. So. In the background, I just heard, hey, there's a new one. Uh, you're seriously <laughs> going, uh, going, going to apologize in advance? Have you heard my yeah. English? <laughs> oh, you are much, you are much better. Unfortunately, we have. Yeah, it's because you're all better it's, than mine. It's because you're all foreign. Foreign. Thank, thank, foreign. thank you, yeah. Davor. I, I, I really love your reviews on Untapped, uh, Davor. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, it's, uh, it's, right, it's what I do. Spaces. So. Yeah, what Davor has to realize is he's never going to stop getting peer pressure to make a channel. Uh, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> No, you need to do that, man. You need to do that, man. You could be YouTube's number one Belgian beer reviewer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe, but I don't drink so many Belgian beers these days. So I have some gems in my cellar, but... <laughs> yeah, you do have which, some gems. Yeah. Which beers do you have in your cellar, uh, Davor? Name some. Uh, whew, at the moment... Uh, if you want to know Belgian ones, yeah, uh, I have some vintages from uh, Drefontaine and uh, Old Berso, uh, also some Cantillon, uh, mm. then also Telquin, uh, then some beers from El uh, Hermitage. Uh, mm. uh, that brewer is quite new. Uh, it's from Brussels, yeah, yeah. El Hermitage. El Hermitage, quite solid, quite solid brewery. Uh, Brussels beer project, uh, mm. stuff, yeah. a, a lot of stuff from Alvin, Alvin, Alvin. Uh, uh, also, also Farzet, brewery Farzet, it's uh, translated as resistance, something like that. Uh, okay. they, they are specialized in uh, uh, what is called uh, old brune uh, or Flanders red style style oh, oh, yeah 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 uh, that stuff yeah, also ah, too too many so, so you guys I, I can I cannot remember too much beer <laughs> too much beer you have too much beer. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. an issue. There's a problem for that. Uh, there's a solution yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's called my <laughs> if, if, I, if we are going to Slovenia, I'm going yeah. straight to a cellar. Mm. Straight to a cellar. <laughs> that, that that can be hard. Douglas, I, Douglas, really? I, I, I have. Gonna, oh God. And, <laughs> just, just, just say Thomas. And, just say, no, say no, no, no. Thomas, Thomas, oh. Thomas. Yeah. When you say that, when you say that in Belgian, then it's awkward. Oh, when you say I'm going yeah, to sell yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not in Slovenia. Yeah, Slovenia is a wine country, so uh, yeah. So people are used to spend a lot of hours in the cellar. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did know that. Yeah, because. Uh, as I mentioned, also James mentioned man, yeah, uh, mentioned a lot in in his live uh, in in his uh, reviews that Slovenia yeah. is um, a wine country. Uh, we we have we don't have uh, like a long beer history when it comes uh, to craft beer. Uh, okay. Yeah. But we have two old macro brewers that are sadly now owned by Heineken uh, past yeah. few years. So one was established in 1850 and something and other at the end of 
1800. So uh, Piovarna Union and Piovarna Lashko. These two okay. are main, main macro producers in Slovenia and most people drink lager, uh, macro lager beers. So, but mm. there is okay. here a society, I, I would say it's quite close to society uh, of craft beer lovers, but it's slightly sp spreading. Uh, okay. Some people, some people, uh, open uh, specialized beer shops and uh, pubs and more people are getting into the craft. Uh, and how, how many craft breweries are there in Slovenia right now? Who, I, I don't actually, I don't count, but there are, there are one blog, there is one blogger that uh, he track every Slovenian beer that is uh, uh, how is it called uh, available. Yes, available. Uh, so he actually do review of every beer, but not like in form mm -hmm. on okay. YouTube. Just he writes some uh, some thoughts about that beer. Okay. Uh, on his blog, but I think. In general, with uh, all gypsy brewers, uh, nano brewers, uh, and that's uh, or like we have quite a lot of uh, restaurants. Uh, they have like site brewery, mm. but they mainly brew like lagers, uh, nothing, uh, nothing else specific. Uh, so it's like you have like a pizza house or or yeah like a pizza pizza restaurant or yeah or or pizza pub kind of pizza pub and they brew their own house beers mm. i love that i think that's that's, that's amazing I, I wish more people like the italian yeah, but yeah. Uh, it, Italia is quite different in terms of beer. They are yeah, but... a strong wine country, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I don't know. I am not familiar with uh, Italian brew pubs or like places with food and beer. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe Saverio can uh, tell something about that in comment sessions in comment sessions that's where that you say that beer uh, in your country uh, come together with pizza places <laughs> uh, yeah, comes yeah, with sure. wine uh, yeah. And, yeah no i think that's but yeah. yeah but to know that a restaurant actually makes their own beer yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool because yeah. you don't yeah. see that over yeah. here. No. Yeah. You just definitely some, there's the, yeah. The only the some. only chances you would have of having uh, food at a place that makes their own beer is if you have a brew pub that also has a has a kitchen. Mm -hmm. There will never be a restaurant that has their own brewery. No, and yeah. It, uh, it's it's hard to me to explain in proper proper English, so I think I understand. We, I think we yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back in a sec, uh, you guys. I'm going to give the, the dog a little cuddle and I'm going to get uh -huh. some cheese for myself. Back yeah. in uh, back in a moment. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're a bit... Show us the duck. Yeah, right, yeah show oh. the pop. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, like, in... Um, yeah, because that's... In Malmö, um, there's not so many brew pubs in Sweden these days, actually. But, I mean... Um, there's a few I can think of, like Eskilstuna, Ulkutter, they started off as a brew pub and then they decided to brew their own beer. Mm -hmm. So then they got a new premises, put a brewery in, and then opened up a bar next to it. So I think that, you can, I guess you could kind of say that they are a brew pub in a way. Yeah, but did they there's start... also a lot of uh, meat. Yeah. Did they start out as a restaurant? I think. Uh, in, in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. there's also uh, hamburgers. And, uh, yeah, hamburgers and beer. 
Yeah. No, but like, yeah, that's the, the, the yeah. that's, oh, oh, hi. Yeah, I have that bottle, by the way. The beer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like. No. Oh, no, you found it. What kind of button? Yeah, but you can't see the comments now. Oh. Oh, that's annoying, yeah. What? So that sequence series, that's our oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> It's still full. Oh, you have picked, did I not pick that out of your drawer earlier? Yeah, okay. you did. Yeah, that one. Um. Hmm. No, but I would think what, what, what we were talking about is that you just mentioning the group hub and the food part. Is that, a, is that a place that started out as a restaurant? No, it started, it, it, they started out as a beer pub. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, so they, start, they started out as a beer pub, but then if you serve beer in Sweden, you have to be, you serve food as well. You lot. see, but there's a lot of places uh, that I've never heard of a place in the Netherlands that starts as a restaurant and then adds a brewery to it. Mm. And I do find, I think I understand your point. What you meant is that if you see beer and food together here, it wouldn't necessarily be like pizza and beer. People Ooh. would people would think about it. it would probably be like burgers and beer or, or big yeah. meat yeah. and shawarma and beer or whatever, but not yeah. but shawarma. As in, then you are drinking a lot of beer. A lot of beer. <laughs> Usually it's a lot of beer and then the shawarma. And maybe a lot of beer than shawarma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have oh, yeah. in Ljubljana, uh, like, it's called Leibach pub, so it's quite a new pub, so I think it's now two years old, mm -hmm. and they have also kitchen, and they do food pairings with beer, there are ah. like tw 22 taps with different beers, local and uh, quite, uh, quite huge names like uh, 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 Stigbergets, Pöchela, uh, how, 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 so. how do you feel about moving to uh, Slovenia? <laughs> Is that like a country you could live it's in? It's a nice country. Yeah? Oh, that one is oh, awesome. Awesome. You, you know Slovenia? Uh, I've never been there, but I've okay. never been there. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice uh, country, it's a, a nice uh, and a lot of different landscape. Yeah, it's a it's a small country. Uh, you can cross with the car like in three hours from seaside to the end of the. And also in the Netherlands, we're used, to, we're used to that. So basically, yeah. what we're asking is, if soon as if soon as one of the houses in your street becomes available for sale, just you know, that is <laughs> the houses yeah. in Slovenia are uh, cheaper than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's no no doubt about that. I I watch. I watched uh, one, uh, what is called, like document documentary? No. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. About uh, Netherlands, uh, especially about Amsterdam, and prices Whoa. there are it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like price, one uh, million uh, euros for, dude, and and people are for, standing. Yeah. I pay for mortgage for my house. I have. Yeah. Three huge bedrooms. I have a huge attic. I have huge. Yeah. I got a. I got a big house over here. The mortgage that I pay for this. Hi, I love you too. The mortgage I pay for this in Amsterdam, a student yeah. couldn't afford uh, yes. Yes. Uh, a, a, an attic apartment for that. No. No it's way. ridiculous no how expensive yeah. Amsterdam it's, is. It's yeah, yeah. and and I was talk. I was. Uh, last year in Antwerpen at uh, Billy Skrebier Festival mm -hmm. and I visited few uh, local bars and bars are social things so you you don't talk always about beer you talk or also about life there about status and standards oh, and yeah. they, they say that Antwerp was much cheaper than Ljubljana actually so I, I was amazed because here okay i don't live anymore in capital because uh, landlord uh, sold the apartment and we oh. need, we need to move out and prices are there more affordable for them as here in slovenia but we have high standard and low wages so that really sucks mm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's why do we, don't you try uh, do you try uh, Groningen? <laughs> the city Groningen. yeah you could move you can move to Groningen. 
in this city. <laughs> it's a city in the Netherlands. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a very nice city. Yeah, with some or, great uh, that, that, That's debatable because. Uh, no, no, or yeah. uh, uh, Deventer, Deventer. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's also a nice place, and it's Me. cheaper, and not. Uh, I think, it's it's, uh, it's hard to convince my girlfriend to uh, oh. to leave Slovenia. So we'll we'll yeah. bring the Netherlands to you. Yeah, but uh, I, I I was I was there. Uh, I think two years. Yeah, two years ago as a part of a road trip uh, through Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, we stayed there two days in Netherlands. Uh, but I cannot remember what was that uh, seaside there. It was really nice, and I really want to visit that uh, that place wow. again. Scheveningen. Uh, we, we were in uh, we were in in that famous uh, uh, tulip uh, park, Koken. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, Ko yeah. Kokenhead. Tulip. Oh, in uh, in uh, Harlem. Harlem. Koken, uh, Koken, I don't, I cannot. Oh, the Kokenhof. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kokenhof. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, That's yeah. Harlem, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then and we, yeah. yeah, and we stay yeah, so. at maybe I cannot remember. And we stay at uh, seaside. Yeah. Uh, and overnight there, and uh, next day was Amsterdam. And one day in Amsterdam. So I was able to visit Fooders and we oh, have really nice pop. See, that's not fair. You're from Slovenia and you've been to Fooders and I'm from the Netherlands and I even have... Ah, uh, man, pop. what are you waiting for? I'm, I'm lame. I'm weak. Yeah. Oh. Well, actually, yeah I, I, actually, I actually talked to, uh, to Yuri uh, once or twice. He's, a, he's an mm. okay guy. We did an interview with him on the channel. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, I did not uh, meet him in person, but it's a bar. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yuri's uh, great. Yuri Hacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuri Hacker. Yeah. Uh, but I, I know one Belgian guy. Uh, mm -hmm. He's really that guy is uh, his palate is amazing. Uh, he can pull stuff from the beer that you cannot imagine. No, uh, well, I, that's what we say about you. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I think he is now reaching nine thousand reviews on Raid Beer. Ow! Yeah, proper reviews. Ow. Yeah, nine thousand. I think. What was his name again? Uh, uh, Alan Green is his uh, uh, nickname on Raid Beer. I'll go look him up. Yeah, he is a really nice guy. We met a few times, uh, and he. he he knows the scene in Belgium uh, very well, and also in Netherlands and all mm. that bars. So, yeah, really nice guy. Cool. I I'll go look that up. Like, yeah, yeah, and uh, and he is a big, la big uh, older goose and lambic nerd. So, <laughs> love yeah. a good lambic, and, but you would yeah. know with your cellar. Oof. Uh, no, my, my salary is modest in comparison with some guys at uh, uh, Lambic Info uh, Facebook page. Oh, yeah, some good guys luck. are ridiculous, ridiculous sellers. Ridiculous sellers. It gives you a bit of an idea on how big the Lambic world really is, though. If you do yes, that, yes. Page. Yeah. yes, yes, guys with like thousand bottles of Lambic and uh, thousand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's guys out there who pay who pay more for uh, one bottle of Lambic than Donald Trump pays in taxes. <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, even, even yeah. I have bottles that that, that are ex more expensive than he pays taxes. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so that means that he doesn't pay taxes at all. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, he's Donald. So, yeah. what, what what are you drinking, Davor? Uh, beer. I, yeah, I am sipping that one. You oh, like that still one. Uh, the one from Elgin? Yeah, it's quite hefty one. It's, Douglas. Yeah. 
I yeah. Said, I, said, come back. I said Douglas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll cheer. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a slow drinker. I am not, uh, I don't drink fast. So. I'm the same. I'm still just sipping away on this. This she made blue. But yeah. Uh, no, we were, are you guys, Sorry? you guys drinking the Shimei Blue now? Shimei Blue, yeah. Yeah, what no, drink I'm, is it? Not, not anymore. Uh, I'm just sitting uh, away. I don't like drinking such a big volume of beer. I just. Yeah. Like little, uh, we need to get uh, what vintage? Yeah. What? What vintage Sorry? is that? Uh, oh, just a new vintage, 2020. Just the latest uh, vintage. 2020. Okay. Yeah, so, no, just, just a, hmm? so, how is the alcohol uh, hidden? Is there quite a presence or it feels yes. it's not that that heavy in the ethanol booziness, but there's a slight sharp edge and it's mostly very warming. Okay. But it's not medicinal like or or harsh. Um or fusor. Fusor. Yeah, fusor. I wouldn't say harsh or medicinal. Mm. It's a bit it's we did we had um we had a pretty high ABV uh, aged barley wine just now, a few uh, like an hour ago. So I'm a bit numb on the palate. Uh, so tasting the harshness, it might be a bit harsh. What I do remember, I just mentioned this to Fleur. I remember Chimai Blau being more complex. Okay. And a bit more um, challenging, a bit more. Um, are you talking about me? Oh, you, you, you're <laughs> challenging in, in all the best ways, honey. Um, <laughs> no, the beer itself is 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 <laughs> it's still That's good. Love. <laughs> That's love. It is. It is just a bit more. Um, oh, I hate saying this about Chimai Blau, which I still enjoy, but it's a bit dull. Now, uh, I, I I think that. We need to uh, take into account that produce big volumes of that beer. Definitely, so, compared to like yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There's, there is a big cooperation. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, big, big volume. Uh, so it's not, it's not more um, artisanal. No, not nearly as much. They are, are they? Who are they owned by? Uh, no, they are there. Oh, are they still? Oh, yes, yes. That's, that's a good question. I think that one brewery uh, provided the facilities and all the equipment and uh, all the brewing equipment, but I cannot place on the on the table the name because I'm not sure. It's Me neither. Behind, it's quite yeah yeah it's quite big brewery behind, uh, but monks still uh, uh, still have uh, still have that uh, beer checking and <laughs> yeah. cool cool. They, 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 are, they are still they are still involved uh, in the beer uh, uh, procedure <laughs> or, or in beer process. Is that, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I was just wondering if maybe if maybe this this there's a bigger company above all of this, but I wasn't too sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna let James entertain you uh, together with uh, Fleur for a bit because I'm gonna. James is yeah. in need of something that he's always he, he needs big fleshy things in his Sausage. life. Yeah. Sausage. Sausage. Yeah. Ah. But I noticed we've got three dislikes now. That's awesome. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep uh, no worries about that. We've got three hooligans now. Three hooligans. Ah, hooligans. Oh. Yeah, three hooligans. Yeah. Uh, no yeah. worries. So we've had. I think. I think we. We. I think we've had Partizius Maximus, Joe Biden's dentures, and uh, I'm not sure about the third one. Actually, I've had two very dedicated dislikers on my channel recently, like every video. Then I made a nice little post thanking them for the contributions and it's dried up. I was a bit sad about that. So that was quite, that was quite fun. I do wonder, maybe the third one's Harry trolling. I don't know. Perhaps you can do a, perhaps you can do a video of a macro lager to honor them. Oh. I think that would that would have to be that would have to be uh, that would have to be Stella Artois then the wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That would have to be that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to get the tank top out and then the Stella. Stella. Yeah. Stella, isn't it? It's Belgian. Guys, I am on uh, uh, my phone, so mm. my battery is really dropping. If I will, I will say goodbye when 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 I'm close to my battery uh, because okay. I cannot I cannot charge and use, oh yeah you can uh, charge it. yeah and headphones. Oh, okay. But maybe I can try with uh, uh, without headphones. But if the sound quality will be uh, will be very low, I will just uh, say goodbye. Mm. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, no, it's all good. Just do what you can. It's always nice to have you on, Dav. I always enjoy having yeah, you on. Thank you. We've got, thank we've you. got a few. We've got a few. I need to get. You know who else we should get? I need to get on is Riku, my Finnish yeah. man. Yeah, I need yeah. to get Riku on it. I don't know if Riku, don't Riku's don't probably don't business now, but um, yeah. sausage, thank you. <laughs> I, I said mm -hmm. nothing, we're getting sausage just now, but yeah, mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. uh, go through a few of the comments. So, so yeah, and keep up the awesome copy. Yeah, I need to get at least 10 dislikes per video, at least 10, otherwise, I'm just failing. Um, yeah, no channel can do without haters. Got three just now, love it. Um, no need to apologize. See you. Nice to see you, Davor. Always. Oh, uh, yeah, you're getting compliments on your untapped, I think. Oh, we yeah. went through these earlier, I think. Thank, yeah. thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Davor. So, guys, yeah, Davor is the man on um, Davor is the man on the, the Belgian beer. So, yeah, keep it follow Davor. What is your untapped handle thing? Uh, nickname, yeah, what is your untapped name? Uh, Davor S. Just like D A V O R and just S. Yeah. Is there an yeah, underscore and, and S. Yes. 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 Just like that. So I just put it in the comments. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Okay. Which? Yeah. We're getting Slovenian wines are great. Sorry, yeah, sorry, Douglas. Okay. I just fired through a few of these. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no problem. Mm. So Slovenia two years ago drank a lot of Lasco. Yeah, the Slovenian macros, I mean, if you compare them to other macros, they're pretty decent, I would say. I have to yes, say that. I mean, yes. I mean it's, obviously, it's, it's that's not... decent, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not what the best you can get in Slovenia, obviously, but for what yes. for a macro, yeah, they're pretty decent. But, yeah, but if you compare uh, Union and Lashko, mm -hmm. uh, Lashko is more more hop-forward, uh, mm. more okay. more bitter than, than Union. Union is more... More malt, malt oriented, more mm. more bready, more biscuity, and gentle bitterness. And yeah. Lashko is more more bitter and mm. more like thirst crunching. Okay, I still need to review a union. I need to do a reunion review at some point. But yeah, um, the very thing it's way easier to find in Slovenia small farmers that produce their own beer. And um, yeah. Hmm. So lots of farmhouse breweries in Slovenia. Uh, no, I, yeah, no, actually not. I am not mm. familiar with uh, farm brewers. Oh. Uh, there, there is a uh, how is it called? Uh, home brewer scene. Uh, home brewer scene is quite strong. Uh, mm. There are there are quite quite regular gatherings, and mm. uh, people try. Uh, beers from each other, what uh, they are, what they are brewing, and there are also uh, home brewer competitions. Uh, uh, they are judged with uh, uh, how is it called? They use uh, beer judge certification program for for judging the beers. So, mm -hmm. so when the main person from home brewer society decides okay you guys need to brew porter bscp uh, guidelines are are necessary necessary ah, how is it called necessary yeah mm. yeah necessary yeah oh that's yeah, interesting that though yeah. yeah we need to try more slovenia thomas is keen to potentially come to slovenia on the next trip and when we're talking about this trip so yeah sure no yeah. Are you coming with your 
Bet you decided to come to Europe, why not? Oh, this is now in Japan. Mm. Stuck in Japan, yeah. Oh. So we need to figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, that could be cool. Um, he did for a while, but then, yeah, visa and stuff, complications. Uh, <laughs> very weird from um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Rules, oh. ru rules, immigration rules, and all this kind of thing. But yeah, Ljubljana is beautiful. I've heard that. I've heard Ljubljana is beautiful. Yeah, it's a very green city. So, uh, mm. a lot of mm. uh, forests. Uh, in, yeah, a lot of greenery, actually, mm. in the city. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. uh, yeah. Mm. Huh. You can ask what you do for work, Davor. Oh, Davor loves cool. his job. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that that's a bit sarcastic, uh, or or or. Oh, I am on ten percent now on battery. So, uh, I work in uh, uh, how is it called? You mean like circuit boards? Do you know? Uh, I I assemble devices for. Uh, for industry, especially for uh, for energy uh, industry, uh, energy providers. So there are different devices to uh, to make sure that everything everything works. When mm. when when is uh, when, for example, uh, uh, transformer station. Uh, is that uh, can you understand yeah, that? Okay. Yeah, do we enjoy uh, it? Oh, I worked there now, I think, yeah, 14, 14 years. No, now. no, no. Do you enjoy it? Ah. Do you like it? I like I like it, sort of, but it's not paid well. That That's the problem because yeah. it's. Mm. Yeah, that's the that's the problem because in Good Slovenia, bump. yeah, in Slovenia there is not many companies that do that kind of products or mm. things with uh, protection of uh, energy systems and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you 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 need to have high education or have a lot of good connections to get their jobs. It's all about connections here in Slovenia. So, mm -hmm. yeah, most yeah. people are really, really low, low, low. And high is so-called elite or, yeah. Uh, it's, it's funny, okay, we are now off topic, but it's funny. Uh, new apartments are selling for 400,000 or half million euros and people buy that and we have like 2, mil 2 million people and there is still enough rich people that can buy all the new places so yeah. and That's I cannot good. afford yeah yeah Mm. Yeah, I, th I just, think it's it's everything is the same story. So, in the Netherlands, I think it's uh, more equal. Equal, okay. Mm. Uh, like uh, I, I think uh, there's you're not uh, poor or rich, okay. but okay. you can be in between. There's more of the in between. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. more in between. Yeah, I think. We, we all know that COVID-19 situation and people are losing jobs and uh, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, there are hard times, hard times. Yeah. Most definitely. That's it. Yeah. I mean, there's like lots of, uh, there's, uh, there's lots of just uh, crazy shit going on. We are reaching now second lockdown. Uh, mm. All the regions are red, so no cross passing. Uh, masks are a necessity in the uh, everywhere, so yeah, it's it's not a nice situation. Yeah, yeah, same here, man. Things are um, 
But if you uh, don't have a job, can you uh, get money from the state? Ooh, that, what, that one is, yeah, good question. It's quite tricky. You can go to the, uh, how is it called? <laughs> I cannot translate from Slovenian, from my, from Slovenian but, to English. It's, no, it's, but it's, can it's, you, uh, can it's you get money? Yeah, you, you can get money, but you are obliged to uh, search new job quite fast. Yes. You need to be yeah, very have active. Yeah, you you need to be very active uh, mm -hmm. in uh, searching you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you can have uh, something. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, benefits. You yeah, yeah, no, no, state benefits. benefits. Oh, we call yeah. that state benefits. Oh, yeah. State benefits. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, state, yeah. Okay. yeah kind of. uh, no, you don't get friends with benefits from the state. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, if, if, if the company uh, fires you, mm -hmm. uh, they need to pay you, uh, how is it called? Uh, yeah, they need to give and... you some money. Yeah, mm -hmm. they need to give you some money for the years that you spent at that company. Mm -hmm. yes. And you go to the institution and then mm -hmm. you give uh, our states, uh, uh, state, yeah, state, state help, actually. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or social help. Uh, yes, some, something yes. Like that. we have it also. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and if you were to quit your job yourself, you don't get anything. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So exactly. also the same in Netherlands. But yeah. but if but if you if you live like uh, in a capital city mm -hmm. and you pay rent, yeah, that, you and uh, you yeah. have like a family or whatever girlfriend or you cannot survive because rents are quite high. Oh, I yeah. we, we were paying like four hundred euros for twenty three squares. So. Mm -hmm. So it's it was uh, quite expensive, but now yeah. I can uh, uh, I cannot complain anymore. We live like in big house, uh, uh, no rent, so we can at least save some money for for things in the future. Yeah, yeah. that's good, man. Yeah, so. that's yeah. Good. yeah, including including more good Belgian beers. Uh, beers from all the world, not just that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was just stuff, Yeah. That was just getting wasted. Uh, Woohoo! It's North Coast beer, yeah. Yeah, it's my North Coast beer. Um, it's uh, this one, uh, Davor. Ooh. Uh, North, from, North Coast from, Brewery. Yeah, from States. Yeah. 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 We're getting. Uh, we just felt we filmed a video of. Uh, Ooh, uh, uh, oh, that one is Emelis Rudisian. Rudisian no. very wine. Yeah. Frontal. Yeah. It's it's frontal. Oh, oh no! Oh frontal! Oh sorry, sorry guys, frontal. Yeah, yeah, frontal. Uh, but but not uh, but not barrel aged or was barrel aged. No, but it has a big oaky component though. Same one. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. There's a good chance we're gonna finish this bad boy now, though. Mm. Yeah. No, we we filmed the review of that just before coming live, and it was good. Um, and he saw that it was good. It was good. Yeah. Let's say fire through a few more comments so quickly. So, Lake Blade is awesome. I've heard that. Lake Blade is beautiful. Um. There is not nothing. There is, goes nothing. There's nothing above Groningen. That's probably about right. Koikenhof. I've been to the Netherlands 15 years ago when I was 15. Uh, years ago when I was 15, I love the place and museums. Um, bitter Valen. So yeah, guys. Um, oh, I've got, I love bitter balls. Bitter balls. <laughs> um, so this is Davor's uh, untapped handle. Go and add him on there. What's Davor's reviews? Uh, I think it's Enzo Davor, but I'm not sure. I need to check. 
I need to check that. Ah, uh, check my toast. Davor usually toasts a lot of my beers reviews, guys. So yeah, check it. Uh, check Davor my toasts. Work pays for the beer. That's it. Um, Severio, if you're interested, I'll explain the situation of the uh, craft. Yeah, with Severio, that's the thing is I need to come and meet you in Trieste or something, and and um, we can have a few beers. You can show me some things. And we've got Finland's now. Greetings from Finland and Kipis. Yeah. Always cool to have the Finnish guys on. We need to get, as I said earlier, we need to get Riku on the channel at some stage. I need to talk to him and see if he's game for that. I don't know how shy Riku yeah, is. <laughs> yeah, because Riku's always like, oh, Finnish people are too shy to do these beer videos. Because I was like, Riku, why do you not do your own channel with all these Finnish beers? So I'm too shy. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got a quick funny one for the Dutch viewers, by the way. Okay. Oh, sorry, Davo, yeah, what are you saying? Uh, how is the sound quality? Because I'm on the charger now. Fine. That's good. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. What are you saying, Davor? No, oh, no, joking, joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Douglas, Douglas yeah. and the rest of the uh, Dutch viewers. Um, does anybody, any one of you know what Heineken means? Yeah. Yeah? What does it mean? He and I nemen elke keer een nieuwe. En na... Uh, backward, backwards, we kennen ik hem even niet meer. Na elke keer... Een nieuwe... Komt er hoofdpijn. Een nieuwe komt er hoofdpijn. <laughs> hoofdpijn, ja. Ja, hoofdpijn, ja. ja. Ah, Douglas, <laughs> jij kent gewoon het begin. Ik niet. Thomas kent het niet. I didn't know, ja, I maar... didn't know. High five. Maar toch... To Thomas is ook geen echte bierdrinker. Die drinkt alleen maar craft beer. Die, die weet helemaal niet wat lagers zijn, die gast. Nee. Ik weet wat lagers zijn. Ik weet wat lagers zijn. Ik weet gewoon niet wat horsepiss is. Ja, dat is Heineken. Translate it into Slovenian. Ja. Sorry. It's not the best joke. I'm not going to do it to a Slovenian. Basically, Heineken, if there's, a, there's a sort of, um, if you take every letter of the word Heineken, you can make a sentence. And uh, it doesn't work in translation, it tr loses something in translation, but basically every letter of Heineken would spell out, uh, he and I uh, have take a new one every time. And then if you take it backwards, and you start the last letter, every, after every new one, I get a headache. Oh, yeah. That's basically a Dutch joke, and it doesn't translate to English, but yeah. But I didn't know it. She just, uh, my girlfriend just explained it to me. Apparently, Douglas did know it, so now I'm the odd one out, and I'm the idiot. Yeah, I, I, I remember I always had uh, headaches after macro beers. That's what they're for. Mm -hmm. I, I try to drink it, so. a lot. Yeah. Crab well, beer. Or, I noticed that are mm -hmm. really high quality, uh, yeah. quality beers. Oh yeah, yeah you I can, agree. You can drink 10, 11 percenter and one or two, and next day, next day, no problems. Oh, no problems. oh yeah, that's it. I agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've got Craig okay, watching yeah, as well. Hey, can't be Hey, Craig. What's up, Craig? Hey, buddy. How's it going, man? Hope it's Hope you're feeling a bit better. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. nice to have Craig. Yeah. All the love. All the love to Craig. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Nice to have you. Sorry? What are you saying, Davor? Sorry, I interrupted you there. Yeah, love to Craig. Oh, yeah, lots of love to Craig. Craig's awesome. Yeah. 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 And we've got... See, we've got Joe watch Joe Joe Joe's funny. Joe's Joe watches like everything I do, and it's like beers that he's, he's says he's never going to get to taste. Joe's like been watching the channel for ages. He loves like the watching the European reviews, which is pretty cool. Joe's like it's always awesome to have Joe along. Yeah, and we have another sorry. taste. Oh, sorry, Dabur. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I also I'm more I list I listen your uh, reviews when I work. Because mm. it's easier me to listen than see because I need to work. So I do th I do that quite often with reviews. I mean, my reviews are kind of yeah. in, in a way my reviews yeah. would probably work better as a podcast sort of thing. But 
YouTube was the kind of one that I knew. You know, it's it's there's not much to see in my reviews. It is more about the commentary, I guess. Yeah. Did you crack this mystery uh, that mystery beers or not? No, I need to do that. It's uh, I, oh, I had too much I had, had too much stuff. One. I'm really scared about that one that was slightly damaged. So, oh yeah, we need to, yeah, yeah we need to I need to do that yeah because it was like I honestly it's it's I had so much stuff I had so many IPAs from uh, yeah yeah because you because you sent me stuff mostly that's <laughs> going to last for a little bit but like Chris sent me a load of IPAs I ended up with a lot of Swedish stuff um, and then it's um, yeah it's like it's just I ended up with so much beer at that time so yeah when i go back i need to review the three ipas that you gave me because i didn't get the the ones done so i've got lublana the um omnivar and i think you gave me a paleo from omnivar as well if i remember uh, right yeah meister meister yeah so i need to i need to get the notes from meister because i think i got notes done but i was just i was trying to get the american ones done because i think they were a bit older than the ones you gave me um yeah. so then that was the thing because I try to find fresh as possible. Uh, yeah. 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 No, I mean that that was it because it's it's um yeah because it was kind of like I was wanting to get the I needed to get Chrissy's ones had to take priority because I think he'd had them for a little while and obviously you want those as in good condition as possible because they're American ones. Um, but um, yeah, no, that was the thing because. The other thing is, I've got uh, Riku's got uh, got the next box ready for me apart from IPAs, so oh I just need. To, I'm just oh, honestly, I, I honestly do. If if I get more beer meals, I just I don't really want more IPAs. We, just, yeah, we were talking about that in the air today. Like yeah. that's the it's it's the time bomb pressure for the beer reviewers. Like we love people sending them really. But yeah, you're like crap. How how and when. Yeah, no, it's like it's on that. It's on his, it's, it, it sounds it sounds it sounds like such a kind of ungrateful comment to make, but it's kind of like when you get a beer mail, it's almost like if you get like night if you get like half of them are IPAs, you're just oh my god, I need to drink these really fast. <laughs> That's one of the things. Sorry, something funny just happened right next to you. It did it here. While you were talking about that, we were quickly having a quick side to side, and we were talking about next weekend she should come over. And we're going to review like 20 of those IPAs and she can share them with me. She was like, yeah, we can do that, right? And then she said like, 10 beers. Yeah. 10 beers. Oh, 10 doubles, sorry. 10 doubles. 10 doubles, yeah, 10 doubles. Yeah. Dougie, how's that beer you're drinking, mate? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice one. Really nice. Tell us about it. Can I see it? Yeah. Ooh. It's a really nice color. But uh, it's 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 creamy, full of flavor. It's a Belgian style Abbey Ale. It's mm -hmm. sweet. It's got a got a got a little bit bitterness in it. It's really really good. I I think I rate it um, four or four point twenty five at what scale of five. What was the brewery again? North Coast. North Coast for North States. Coast. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From uh, the same brewery as Rasputin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm Sorry, Davo? I think I had that one, but I was okay. not, not overly impressed. No? Uh, yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, it's it's personal taste. It's personal yeah, taste. yeah, yeah. It's, it sure is. Everything is personal. Uh, but I'm really when I when I write my notes. In your Chicago car. Sorry, in joke, in joke. I don't understand. Yeah. He uh, says says uh, it's a taste. And I said I'm a personal taste, and when I said that, James, James looked at me like. <laughs> <laughs> so let's all forget that happened. <laughs> When I'm, I'm sleeping alone tonight. No, no, no. <laughs> I mainly focused about style. Mm -hmm. I, I am actually judging style. I I try to pick pick up most as possible from the beer, and yeah. uh, quite rarely I do my 
subjective uh, opinion about the beer. So all all scores are mainly based uh, regarding the style. Mm, yeah. yeah, I got that. I can get that. But, but uh, do you, all, you also drink uh, some beers more than once? Yeah, that, 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 that's quite rare. That's quite rare. Uh, yeah, so... So it, it, it can be that uh, uh, another year's release can be yes, better yes. than the first one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can agree. Yeah, I can agree with that. But uh, sometimes I really just want to drink some simple beer. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. No brainer, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you... If you always try to concentrate on every beer that can ex exhaust you, if that matters. Uh, I, I know what you mean. Sometimes you just have to enjoy, no yes. analyzing, just yes. enjoy a beer. Yeah, exactly. no analyzing. totally agree. Just mm. enjoying the beer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you just need to zone out and just realize it tastes good you're happy with it and that's nice yeah. on that yeah. note yeah. tasted tasted tales was checked out so it was nice to have you along taste to have you along you i hope you enjoyed the stream and uh, we've got an interesting question here this is a style that i like sati so yeah oh, sati can be really interesting sati gotland's drink yeah it's like a smoky junipery type beer um, they're unpasteurized quite often. Like I was trying to get Riku to send me some, but he was worried that they wouldn't last the journey, so he didn't. Um, so uh, there was a one Slovenian brewery that actually did Sakti. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Twenty Two Brewing, but mm -hmm. I actually missed missed that one because it was very low. Uh, very raw production uh, volume, so mm. I don't know how many liters. Very small, very small batch, and I didn't get that that one to try. Mm. But I I tried from them, uh, and that beer was quite bonkers. It it nearly harmed me. Uh, oh so yeah. Be, uh, I think I sent you that one or not. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, they, there's a load of Slovenian beers in there this time that are new to me, so I'm going to need to. I'm going to need you to help me with finding articles and shit for those for this time to do the research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no, because that's the thing. I've not really touched so many of the beers yet. I've done. I've. I mean, I need to do. I was quite. I still remember we lost this, that other Croatian stout. I need to do. I need to get yeah. started on the Omnivars. I think those have to be the next target. And then you've got a few other ones. I think yeah. most of the other ones that you've given me yeah. will last. Oh, benign. Benign. They, that guy was, uh, was really generous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. provided, provided the beers. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You were saying that he just gave them. Because I, I, I messaged him and he messaged me back. So I need oh, to film nice. that too. Yeah, when I go back, yeah, he gave me the history of the brewery. So... I need to go through the, the messages he wrote me and write the history. And then when I go home, um, that'll be one of the first beers that I film. I'll do this. I'll do that. And that'll, maybe, that'll probably publish next weekend, come to think of it. I'll probably publish that next weekend or early next week. That, that yeah. one? Mm -hmm. you, you just said that you try to rate, uh, you also, all, always try to rate a beer in a style. Yeah, objective. And I, yeah. Yeah, I also like to do that, but um, I think about a year ago, Thomas and I drank a very nice beer, which didn't hit the style, but it okay. still was a great beer. That's why we rate, it gave it also a high rating, although it didn't hit, uh, hit the style. You it remember that one? Uh, you know, remember that one, uh, Thomas? Yeah, that that. That situation can be very tricky. They they miss the style and uh, it turn. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. So this tasted amazing for a bourbon. It didn't yeah. taste that great for uh, a Weizen double block. There was no Weizen character in there. Anymore. 
Mm. Yeah. St- so it didn't hit the style, but it was a delicious beer. So is what it was more. It was more Doppelbock, maybe. If you. If it you was. Know, um, uh, it was basically just. It had the. The, the thing is, you, you you get to that point where you get all those lovely sweet caramel notes. Yes. But were they from that bourbon barrel, or were they from the Weizenbock? Hmm. So yeah, it was yeah. a difficult one to rate. Yeah, because yeah, Weizen can be can be really tricky because it's all about uh, wheat, wheat mm-hmm. yeah, and... And, and, and and what also is tricky uh, when you drink a beer more than once. It can be that the second time that you drink it, that you like it less because um, your taste is evolving. Yeah. But is it because of your taste is evolving or is it because the brew, the brewery made a, made a lesser good brew? Yeah, the day just, just, that's, that's, yeah. that's difficult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have consistency is a quite big problem. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Uh, so macro macro in comparison with uh, macro beers, macro beers can be always consistent. Yeah. They are, yeah. Always all, always the same. No no matter where are you uh, on the planet, you drink Heineken. It's it's almost the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. And. Uh, for example, the same batch of IPA, it's every time different because of the yeast, of hops, water, everything affects uh, the beer. Yeah, true. That's one of the most underrated things, isn't it? The water treatment. Yeah. I think, I think so many people forget that water treatment is so important for a brew. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah water, you have to get water. the clean. Yeah, clean water is always a good. Well, not just clean water in itself. I mean, yeah. it's it's important. Yeah, yeah. Sure. For, for it's example, it's important. But look at, but there was a local brewery uh, uh, who did a um, nice experiment. Hmm? Yeah. So they made a du- they made two double IPAs. Okay. Same malts. Yeah. Same hops. hops. Yeast strength. different ye- different yeast, yeah, different water treatment, and also at which temperature during the boil were the hops added? Two completely different beers. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. People think it's just malt and hops. It's so much more than just that. Yeah, it's true. So much more. Uh, it's yeah. like a science. Uh, mm-hmm. Beer is like a science. you have, for example. You have a uh, quite solid IPA recipe mm-hmm. and outcome can be always different. If you yeah. just, just okay. look at like the old, look, just look at the all together beers. I wanted to say the same thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's, the, that's the trick. Uh, they can have one good, really good recipe and just tweak that recipe with that uh, components. With water or or barley or hops, of course yeast play also big role. Big role. Yeah. Mm. That's it. We've got a few more comments that we'll just fire through quickly. Um, so Joe is saying cheers, cheers to Craig. Saying cheers back. Um, so Joe's saying my beer reviews are like beer school for beer nerds <laughs> um, Severio's saying when you come to Trieste for beers and chat maybe Davor can come I'm sure that won't be too hard to convince him okay nice. yeah, that, that could be yeah that could be really nice yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll tell your girlfriend we, we'll tell your girlfriend that we kidnapped you uh, yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> which is which is also true because Davor's a big sexy beast. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that would, yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. That could be fun. Yeah. Um, 
and we'll speak Slovenian. We won't speak Slovenian to each other. Davor, it will speak. I'll speak Gaelic to both of you just out of badness. Um, Davor, may I wait, may I ask where you're from? We know uh, Slovenia. Did you ever taste mafloni? Yeah, I had one or two mafflonis. Davor, Slovenian. Well, we've all tasted. Well, we've all tasted muff, I guess. Pani my raven tola, yeah. Okay. Um, so we've had yeah the 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 quintuple CIP. That's oh. one. I think I'm getting that in my next yeah. box no, from. I, don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting this one from um, from Riku next time. I'm sure Riku said he was going to let me. If he was going to get me a can of this. I'm sure the Florian trip quintuple C. And. Uh, I don't swallow. <laughs> <I'm Yeah. sorry. laughs> Do you? Hey, can we really not go there right now? I don't know where this is going. No. <laughs> um, but water is what makes a beer great. If you're going to do a style, you need to copy the water. Yeah, yeah, that is one of the things. Yeah, you do need to copy the. You need to make different water profiles for different styles and stuff. Yeah. Good water treatment. Yeah. And we'll talk about a different. We'll talk about different fluids now. We'll talk about beer. Not cheese. <laughs> cheese? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you had that one coming. You had that one coming. You know you did. I don't know. Fish? Like, let's see. The, 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 the question is, I hate fish. Um, uh, the, question, the question is, that's why I like Thomas so much. But, um, He's but very see, obsessed with his dislikes people. Yeah, yeah, just wait, so you know. Oh, the two of them disappeared. Two of them just disappeared. No. No. Oh. Your haters are lovely. My ha my haters disappeared. Two of my, oh, my two of my God. dislikes. I bet. Oh, I bet you it was like Tasty Tales did one. Oh, it could be. That could be what it is. Oh, oh, we've only got one hater now. We've only got one hater. Oh, <laughs> No, we're we're we're, we're counting. I, I don't know if you caught that, Davor, but we're we're counting the haters. We're counting we're counting our our haters. We're counting the hooligans. James, as as from now on, I will give every review of you a, a dislike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, man. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I can return the favor if you want, Douglas, but maybe that's a bit. I don't know if that. that and maybe first, really first time, and then yeah, I the first have to that's, that's something. probably not a good idea. No, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> By the way, I really like your reviews um, at, the, at, at the site reviews, like uh, when you walk into the stores and drinking beers in, uh, in different uh, uh, pubs. Oh, the out and abouts. Really? Yeah, those are fun. Those are quite fun. I actually have. Um, you will see a De Beer Vinkel, uh, yeah. one here in the next week or two. Because Thomas and I have done a collaboration video, and we're going to—I've got another idea. I'm not going to say what it is just now, but we have another idea for a video, and it's not gay porn, so don't get—don't be too disappointed. Um, no, I'm, um, I'm here. So, but but well, yeah, you so gay porn James, could, yeah. James, oh, okay. You, you, you want to involve with the, the Dutch Beer Collective? Mm -hmm. um, sure. Thomas? Yeah. Thomas? Yeah. He wants to, he wants to invo uh, get involvement in the Dutch Beer Collective. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we also, uh, every review, we have a premiere. You oh, know what I mean, Thomas? Yeah, there's a premiere coming tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, uh, yeah. that's right. Like yeah, so, uh, yeah. What, what, yeah. What, every time we do a live stream, there's a a, a premiere, a premiere. Mm -hmm. So, what's your scoop? There's a scoop. Every live stream, you always have a scoop. What's your scoop? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Your angle will tell. <laughs> Is there anything like you want to share in terms of your reviews and what's coming up and something interesting? Oh, you mean scoop like that, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh... There's quite a few. I've still got quite a few American ones to come. Obviously, I've still got some of the Davor, Davor box to go through. Uh, okay. on, I've still got quite a bit of Estonian stuff, and then obviously there'll be Dutch things coming up too. But I'm very. I, I feel I've got too much beer at the moment. I'm just like, oh. Um, no unboxings. Too much beer. Yeah. No what? Sorry. No unboxings. Not until the start of next month. Okay. Because um, no, I, I said, um, I said, I said, uh, I mean, 
there'll be the system will I get one, but a French friend has a couple has about six beers to send me. Um, I've got the I already kind of did the one that you guys gave me, and the stuff I bought from Beerwinkel. I bought another two or three beers at the supermarket today. I don't know if I'll end up with more. Um, yeah. So. What, we'll one question, James. Did you ever did you ever do a mystery beer or not? Davor has sent me a couple that I need to do, but um, I'm not sure how I feel about mystery beers because obviously like, I like to do the research on the brewery and like and and uh, you know, I like to learn about the brewery and stuff. So. So I'm it's a sure. little bit out. So it's a little bit out of your comfort zone. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, no, please, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't like please, it, I, please do so. Yeah, mystery beer. Mm. You really have to do uh, a, 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 a few okay. mystery beers, James. Please. Mm. Well, apparently Thomas is a way to get a mystery beer for us just now. So, yeah. So we'll see. But I think I don't know. I mean. I wouldn't mind doing mystery beers, but if I got something from like a really random country, I'd rather know what it is because I think it's quite cool to be able to do the review properly. Because, uh, yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah. Merson. No, okay. Mystery beer, okay. Mystery, okay, okay. Surprises. As life revealing mystery beers. Right, okay. That's a scoop, Thomas. Maybe you need some water to clear your palate? No, no, no. This is a lager. I think that's this is a I think this is a lager of some description. Um so yeah, you can see sort of pale golden. That's that's got to be a lag. That I think this is a lager of some description. Um, kind of creamy coloured head. Mm. Yeah, okay. Aroma. Death, that is a hard to say at the moment whether it's a pilsner or whether it's a a sort of more mercenary type lager. Um, it almost doesn't quite have the crispness of a a pilsner. So it could just be more of a hellas. Um, um, that's a macro lager. I think this is a. I think this is a. This is a macro lager of some description. Um, and that would explain why it's a bit more amber as well. If it's macro, that's a bit of a boozier lager. You can smell a bit of the booze in that. It's got a bit of that. It's got a bit of that kind of biscuity thing. But it's quite oily, so that's what makes me think it's boozy. Um, um, yeah, that's quite. This is one of these. I think this is a like a. This has got to be like one of these. It's this isn't a craft. I don't think this is a craft beer. I'd be surprised if that's a craft beer. To be honest with you. Um, What's Like small batch brewed. Davoy. Mm -hmm. I, think I, don't know, is... I don't know if you heard it, Davor, but um, James is doing a mystery beer right now. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. your official yeah. mystery beer. Yeah. Uh, um, what, what, what are you eating now? Just some like, salty crisps. Salty crisps. No, no, James. Uh, James. Salty, yeah. Just like salty, salty crisps. Like. Oh, that can really affect your palate. Mm. I oh, will see. But it's a lager. Yeah. Okay, so it's a lager. I think this is a bit of a Oh yeah, that's maybe a good that's maybe a good shout actually. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Yeah. That's why I say clear your palate. Yeah. I won't get cookies on your thing in case you want to drink it. Cookie. Cookies. There we go. Oh, there we go. No worries. Um Is that is that uh, uh, Russian vodka? <laughs> Everybody's Russian. Yeah, hundred, a hundred. It's a hundred and five point nine percent vodka. Everybody's Russian. Right. Okay. It's got a Windhausen. So yeah, lager beer. Let's have a taste of this and see. Okay. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, that's a hat. That's. 
that's one of these high alcohol like hobo beers. Mm. That's, uh, that's, a high alcohol, that's a high alcohol hobo beer. Extra strong. I don't know what one it is. Do you like it? It's actually Extra not bad. Strong. It was when, it, when I took it in. It's like one wow. euro. <laughs> Douglas. Douglas. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh my god. That's uh, a, Thomas. Was... Thomas. Shame on you that you have that in, 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 in your stock. <laughs> no, no, so no. That, wait, that, wait, that was, here's the best part. Yeah? I brought it in. <laughs> oh. So that, oh, that's like okay. three party beer. Yeah, that's like the that's like Carlsberg factory. Yeah, that was a gag thing that we wanted to do. Yeah. Three party but, beer okay. actually. Yeah. yeah. But he was uh, he was uh, quite right, or not? Yeah, it's like a whole yeah, it's like a hobo hobo lager. Ten percent. It doesn't yeah. smell this one. Um, I might. Like, I can't drink so much more beer. No. I think, but yeah. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I have to say for a ten percenter, it's actually not bad. When I took it in at first, I wondered if it was a little bit more. Um, <laughs> I was thinking maybe I was wrong about this. Maybe it's going to be an IP, but then no, it was just grassy. I was like, no, that's boozy hobo beer. Yeah. It's uh, better than. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Quick question, James. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it easy for me as a Dutchman to send you beers in Sweden, or is it very difficult? I wouldn't think it was hard. Why? Oh, I, I know how, how I know how hard it is it is to send beers to uh, to the US of A. In Sweden, they don't give a shit. Like in Sweden, honestly, like with customs and stuff, they don't give a shit. <laughs> like Denmark, Denmark, that like you can walk, you could come off the, you could come off the plane with like about ten rifles or something it's in Denmark, Sweden, and they're not going to care. care mm -hmm. Okay, okay. then I make you, then I make you, then okay. I make you a promise right now. Mm -hmm. If you review three mystery beers on your channel i will mm -hmm. i will send you new mystery beers okay he already has two mystery uh, beers I'll, I'll, for me i'll supply yeah. the third one <laughs> i think he thinks yeah i want to know which beers james <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like the mystery stuff I don't know how it, as and, I say, I don't, and, I don't, uh, ask Tom, ask Thomas, ask Thomas, I can really surprise, uh, because the first mystery beer I sent to Thomas, it was also his first mystery beer ever. May you put my chair? But, but that was, uh, that was uh, Lehe, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think so. Well, wasn't that the one with, um, <clears throat> Um, Rada it, was Rada a, Rada. it was a stout, wasn't it? Yeah, Rada Hasa Dada Vatava. Something. One. <laughs> oh, very naughty one. No, it was like Rada Hasa Dava. I don't remember the name. It was that weird name? But it has, yeah, but it, it, it has the, 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 the label has the half moon, full moon face. In and, I, and it had those beans in oh, it. The, 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 Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. It had it had the beans in it with with that um, um, cinnamon flavor, cinnamon tonka. and vanilla flavor. Tonka. Yeah, tonka beans. Yeah, it had tonka beans. Yeah. Can you do you also knew uh, the naughty woman? Naughty woman. Yeah, the drink. No. What? No. Yeah, in uh, Groningen, you can uh, order a naughty woman. Stoute vrouw. Ja. Yeah. Ah. We gaan nu naar Douglas Stoute vrouw. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. eating cheese. <laughs> oh, cheese. No, I, 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 I have a very stoute vrouw at home. Yeah, that's not my problem. Uh, I, I, I didn't have a drink. But, but in Arnhem, we have a, a cookie called Arnhem Semeisjes. Ar <laughs> girls from Arnhem. Mm. Quite they actually made a beer with that, didn't they? Sorry? 
Didn't they make a beer with that? No. Uh, yeah, I, I believe once they made a beer with that. You're right. Ah. But I didn't taste the beer. Yeah, sorry. I had I had to know. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, uh, Thomas. Yeah. Uh, everything everything is changing right now. Before you had a girlfriend, you were always right. But you now have a girlfriend, and you know who's right. It's always right. <laughs> yeah, yes. Do you know what they say, right? If at first you don't succeed, do it the way your wife told you. Yes. You uh, you 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 get a mug with Mrs. R Mr. Right. And she will have a mug with Mrs. Always Right. Always right. Uh, I'm doomed. Rule one. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, I'm doomed. I'm right. Rule two. Oh, shit, sorry. Because it's only past 11, I just noticed. Oh, yeah. Because I don't think the British boys are coming anymore. I don't, yeah. Just, let me just check the chat. We'll see. Uh, We're trying to figure out whether the English guys are going to join. Hello. That one. That one. Sorry, I have yeah. to uh, yeah. see your name. <laughs> Let me see. Um, well, can you just go to the last comment down by the way? Oh yeah, we're getting Douglas. Yep. <laughs> I see this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's a shame, Waldo. Now I have to send another wor a worse a, a worse beer. <laughs> Douglas is going to send some beer to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just putting messages into the English guys to see if they are joining. See. How are you doing? Uh, Davor. Oh, fine. Ah. I think it's time to 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 say goodbye because yeah, it's getting late. I don't, yeah, I don't want to get in the troubles. Yeah. I think <laughs> Flo, 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 I the way he says that. He's like, I don't want to get in the trouble. <laughs> uh, because, because Slovenian wives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Slovenian. Can... Is they dumb? <laughs> it's not, it's not that. He might join. Well, oh, yeah. Great. Okay. Oh. Sure, it was nice talking to you, uh, Davor. Yeah, yeah Davor, it's always nice to you yeah, I still have like ten percent on my battery because I, uh, I I I disconnected and I was I was I am now on the headphones. It's much better quality. Uh, mm. uh, I didn't actually know the difference. To be honest, yeah, it's it's big house and there are there are echoes in house, so I don't want to disturb. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. He wants to. He wants to keep it. He wants to keep his his, his male parts. Understandable. Mm. We all like them. <laughs> Give your girlfriend a big kiss. Uh, oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> wife. Oh, wife. Sorry. Oh, girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend or... and wife. I don't think Davor's married. No, I don't think. Uh, no, I'm not married. Okay. Yeah. Give your girlfriend a big kiss. Oh yeah. When you're together. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'll then she'll be okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and, and be, before you go, Davor, don't don't take a, a, any pressure, but start your own channel, okay? Yeah, start your channel now, uh, right now. Uh, it makes you. Right now. I think I need to I need to take a a big English cor course or yeah course. No, 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 your English uh, is very good. My English is also awesome, bad. I, I, I admire Thomas. He's he's very natural in English. I, I, he I, I he sure is. Yeah. yeah. I, wow. I never. Oh, no. I, I will never and, guess uh, that he's a Dutch man. So. No, 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 no. You can. Uh, his English is very, very better than my English. And I'm also from uh, the Netherlands. You got yeah, this, man. Yeah. Do it. Just go yeah, for it. But you got, you, he you guys told learn. 11 years yeah. English with his ex-girlfriend. So that's that. why he's very uh, proficient. proficient with English yeah. speaking. Yeah. I think you can do it, Davor. You I'll, help you. I'll, 
I'll He's help you with your very good English. <laughs> and the thing is, the thing is, Davor, once you get once you use it more, you're gonna remember more. It's like yeah. me with Swedish. Yeah. When I use Swedish more, I remember more. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. You're speaking English, you're speaking English better than James. Yeah, you speak English Scot- better. You speak Scotland. You speak English better than me. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you you teach uh, English. I give you uh, <laughs> one tip. A tip. Mm-hmm. That's it. Tip. Uh, listen to uh, English uh, talkings. Uh, Audio audiobooks. Audio books are oh, yeah. uh, okay. videos are very much English speaking, so you can think English. Yeah, Dabo, you like you yeah. watch like rock you. Some of the shit you send me in English, you sit and watch really random shit in English. I'm like, I'm like, why? Yeah. Your vocabulary is like really random, so it's like, you know, you know, like really, really random words. You can easily do a beer video. Yeah. You can yeah, easily, but, easily. But there needs to be like uh, logical uh, sent- sentences, so uh, like fluid. Fluid words, like proper fluid words, grammar, and that kind of stuff. And if you don't know basics, that that is hard. Doesn't matter. Your answer there is like perfect. Your yeah. answer there grammatically is fine. Yeah, I didn't learn at all. So my my foreign also- language was German. So. Or do a German uh, style we do do German yeah. really. German yeah. style is also good. <sighs> I'm Berlina. This is beer this is beer and uh food geschmack haben. It's been a while when I when I speak in German, so yeah. <laughs> this is my ages. beer canal. This is mine. Oh Craig's joining us now. Yeah. Craig's joining yeah. us. Really? Here we go. Oh. Craig. Craig, hey, Greg. How are you doing? Good evening, Greg. How's it going? Hey, mate. Um, hey, mate. Okay. I'm Sorry, I don't. Hi. That's okay. That's okay. Hmm. Hi. How are you doing? Um, nice to I'm have you on, crack, Craig. I'm actually, hey, I'm actually going to crack a beer because I, I've, I fancy one. So I'm only going to have one, but but yeah, I'm going to have one beer. Okay. No, it's so, good. It's always nice to have you on, Craig, man. Always good. Cheers. Cheers. How's everyone right. doing? Cheers. Doing very good. good, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you uh, how we are doing? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm drinking a uh, Brewdog Audi IPA thing that everyone, oh, seems, that. To, yeah, everyone seems to be drinking at, at the moment, mm-hmm. but, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I also spotted that one in a local bottle shop. But Possibly. I didn't uh, didn't buy it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I've been. I want. I saw in in um, Leiden they had double punk. I was actually tempted to get a can of it. Nah, nah. Mm. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Is it. Oh, so it's not that good. Well, oh, okay. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> I I think I'd done a review a few weeks back and. Um, I just no. I thought I'll, I'll try one before I review one, and then I wasn't going back for a second one. So, oh, okay, disappointing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, but you know, I didn't like it, but he might. No, I was uh, just curious because I just I, ha- I actually had seen that people had said it was okay, yeah. and I was like, oh, mm-hmm. right. yeah, that's because yeah. I mean, that was what I was wondering. I hadn't, I, I've not actually watched any because the thing is, I always kind of make a rule with other reviewers if I've not tried it myself, I don't watch it. Really? Yeah, because if I've not if I've not tried it myself, I don't want to watch like Craig oh, should no, no. Craig's gonna say. Oh nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I should do that maybe more because I get tempted like, oh yeah. he because if, if I, I kinda know your style, what you like, I know what for example Doug was like. And I know where we sort of mix and match and where we don't. No, but it's the same. Um, I don't know a lot of bears, mm. but uh, if you're reading a book Mm-hmm. You don't want to know what other people think about a book and telling about a book. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's the same uh-huh. thing as what you said earlier. Power of suggestion. Yeah, power yeah. of suggestion you is actually very powerful. You don't want to see the movie about the book. 
because you, you want, want to read the book. Yeah, 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 I get that. I get that. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, no. Usually what I do is if I have a beer and I know some of the other guys have reviewed it, like when I'm actually like uploading the shit and things or, or like just when I'm finishing it off, then I drink or I'll listen yeah. to like Craig's review yeah. or Harry's review or whatever. Yeah. But then yeah. you can... Uh, uh, no, yeah, you have, yeah, you, you uh, had, uh, sorry, I have to, uh, uh, okay. Uh, you want, you need the help? You need help? No, no, no. Okay. I'm coming to you later. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Sorry, my English is also not very good. That's good. Well, That's but, good. But you can still you can still talk uh, in your mother language, and Thomas can can. No, no, no. I want to do it myself. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's the problem for Davor. I mean, Davor Davor is on his own, and there's not so many speakers of his native language. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, I know. Too like, bad. What, Too bad. I mean, how many words do I know in Slovenian? Like. Um, I know, like, yeah, Pivo, Nastravia, Pivovarna, Tag, Pivovarna, so. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Guys, I'm, I, I'm uh, off uh, downstairs to get myself a, a, a German lager to clear my palate a what? bit. And yeah. I will close off with a barrel H1 uh, later this evening. So oh, I'll be nice. back in a sec. Yeah, cool, cool, right? yes. cool. No worries. Yeah, no yeah, worries. Yeah. All right. yeah. Oh, it's good. I feel, yeah, it's I, feel good. I feel really. Um, I feel a bit rude, not with my camera on, but yeah. <laughs> ah, don't worry, don't worry, mate. Do what oh, you do. No do what you need. Do what you need to, man. Do it. It's all good. We'll uh, we'll yeah. see. We'll see the hat again soon. Yeah, that's for <laughs> real. When you come back, when you come back, you have to have the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. It's gonna be okay. We need to go for a visit to London. Oh. Oh well, for, to Kent. We need to go London and London is a nice city. No place like London. Well, that's oh, Craig, Craig, and Craig and I had. Craig and I had. Well, yeah. 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 Planet. I mean, in the future and stuff. When yeah, shit, shit's not shit. Basically, then you know, when things aren't locked up, um, I'll be mm. going to. Obviously, I'll be going to London fairly mm. regularly. So. Once yeah. things have settled down a bit, with well, with with everything, not just mm. that, but, but yeah, yeah. Um, and then weekend though probably. Yeah, Week, well, weekends that's... sort me fine, sort of thing. Oh, well, I, can, I, I can just yeah, mm. whenever, whenever you want. Well, that's it. I mean, I'd like what I'd like to do with you, Craig, is I'd like to do like um, I'd like to go and do brew by numbers and kernel and stuff like that, and do some out oh, yeah. out with, with. I'd love to do some because we've never really filmed so much together. Actually, that would be quite cool to do some out and about videos with um, yeah. with you yeah. in, in sort of London, and then do some with Harry and like Bristol, and then do some with Peter and Adam around like Manchester, Liverpool. That would yeah. be really cool. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. When COVID is over. We have to come together. Mm. That's the idea. Come together for a big collective bum. A big, yes. huge collective bum. A big, huge collective bum. <laughs> yeah. A big, huge Can collective bum. <laughs> a, a big, huge collective Rasputin bum. Rasputin and Davor's our Davor's Rasputin are, Davor's are big, big Slavic sausage, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's one thing. We have to battle together, yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's one thing we should get. We should get, yeah. That, so that's one thing we need to sort out is we need to get um, you guys up. Once I get my new apartment and stuff sorted, probably, oh, like late next year. I need. All we right. need to get you guys out to Sweden and stuff. So. That'll be. That'll yeah, be, that'll be, that'll be, cool be uh, that'll be epic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. No, that needs. That needs to be like that. That's something that we need to do, but. Uh, Thomas and I were talking that we need to look at. Um, I've been trying to plan to get to see Davor for a long time, so Thomas is quite keen to do that as well. So we need to figure that out to get to get to one of these beer festivals down in Slovenia. What's the beer and burger one, Davor? That you keep asking it's me about in, uh, in Capital City, in Ljubljana. Mm. But uh, this year um, no festivals. So uh, oh, no, of course, no, not the moment, no. no. Yeah. No, no, it's it's all closed. So, 
Also, yeah. we are, yeah, we are now in the almost in the second lockdown. So yeah. all pubs, restaurants, everything yeah. is closed for the, the UK. The, the days. whole of the yeah. UK is going to be like that, probably. Yeah, they reckon by the end of next week. That, 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 that's what rumours are saying. Sure. Um, I mean, that's, I, I don't know what the rule... I've not checked to see what happened in Scotland today, but I saw that quite a lot of English people woke up to like the really the, the most restrictive lockdown the time. And so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's getting really bad. The only thing I've got uh, is uh, uh, about uh, <laughs> uh, Brexit. <laughs> ah, well, that'll oh. be the next. That's the next. Oh. Thing. In, in the oh. Nothing about lockdown or. Well, they can, I, I mean, this, I, I think from what I've understood, the the Scottish government has actually ha, has done okay with with controlling things, apart from in care homes. Like we had a big problem with the old people. That the old people in the care homes, it just went rapid. It just went whoosh, and ripped through. <laughs> the stuff. It just went, yeah, but they, 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 they were discharging people from, from hospitals into care mm. homes, and then they put the virus with them, and it wiped. I think that's the stupidity. Yeah. But hindsight, but it's obvious if you think about it. It's just like, well, I don't know why they just didn't put them all in the Nightingale hospitals and keep them there for a while. And yeah. but there you go. I mean, it's the thing we're seeing now. It's like uh, Thomas has been saying this a couple of times today. It's like either New Zealand lock the lock down everything, or you take the Swedish approach and do not a lot and tell people wow. these are what wow. this is what you should do. Do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think I mean the thing is I honestly don't I don't I mean I don't know. I think in Scotland, like people would follow the rules to a fair degree. You'd get the fannies that wouldn't. But I think most of the people, I think the people that would do it would be quite effective in slapping down the ones that didn't. Whereas I think, I don't know, I, th I just don't get the impression that that would work in England so much. I don't know. In the Netherlands, you've got uh, the place where I live, mm. and you've got a place where Thomas lived, and uh, there was a woman uh, in our shop that I worked in the shop for my parents of my shop, I think. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of. It's okay. my shop. And uh, in the, uh, the place. Oh, oh Davor must have lost his battery. Yeah. yeah. And sorry, you were saying. Uh, yeah. Where he lives, uh, they don't uh, carry a mask. Mask? Oh, he's back. There he is. They do. And. Uh, in uh, my place, everybody wears a cap. Oh yeah, yeah. Mask. Yeah. mask. Yeah. mask. And uh, so you can see that uh, people. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, they um, In interact. Uh, oh, they interact. If yeah. someone wears a mask, other people also. Wearing a mask. Oh yeah, they, they like that. Yeah, but, uh, if they see people wearing masks, people are like, "Oh, if I see other people wearing a mask, I should do as well." Yeah. They're sort of um, oh, going, goading each, each other. I don't know, yeah, I don't know the right word. I can't think of the right word right now. But they sort of goading each other into um, wearing masks. Yeah, because they feel a bit bad if they're, they're like, "Oh, I'm not wearing a mask. Maybe I should." Which is kind of a good thing. Yeah, peer pressure. Yeah. Peer pressure. That's yes. the word. Thank you. Peer pressure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Grüß Gott. Ich habe ein deutsches Lager. Was ist deiner? Und auch so Proper Glasware. Proper Glasware. Is it Proper? Was ist deiner? Is a filth. Yeah. Was cool. Yeah. Oh, he just said that. Yeah, he was going to get pulled. Oh. Very good of you. Filth, man. Um, Wonderful glass, love it. Vila, Vila is brewing his own smoked sati. That would be lovely. Um, that would be awesome. Some smoked sati. Joe is saying hello to Craig. Yep, and back, and then social pressure. Yeah, there we go. Peer pressure. Yeah. Oh man. Yes. Pressure. Yeah. Uh, now I've been wondering what's I've been wondering, Craig, have you any idea what's happened to Peter? I was just putting in Peter. I think he's seen the messages. Don't know where Peter is these days. 
He's probably in his garden with his brothers and a load of mates, probably. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We, yeah. we tried to do a live, we done a little live thing uh, a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was. German beers and it got cut slightly short. Mm. They, all, they all turned up because he had his beer because he's got his beer garden pub, uh. gazebo thing. Everyone barrels uh. around there and has a beer because obviously what's going on. Mm. <laughs> it's just encouraging uh. people to come round. I'll get rid of it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. I have that. <laughs> oh, you know what, yeah, Craig, you know what I got? I don't know if you watched my unboxing thing that Thomas and I did yesterday, but I managed to get my last uh, Oktoberfest beer, the Hacker Shore. Oh, right. Yeah, I've got, um, I've, got, um, I've still got one. I've still got one. Ah, I've yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, I reviewed it, and I've, I've still got one left. It's just sat there. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, I need to... That that. See, I, I went into... I was in Beerwinkel in... Leiden. The Mer Merson, isn't it? Oktoberfest Merson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that was the one I thought I still had two to review because they didn't have the Augustina and they had everything else. And I was like, which one is it I've not reviewed? Then I went through my channel. I was like, oh, no, I have reviewed all of these. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I think in, in Sweden we have the Weinstefana one, so I need to try and review the Weinstefana. I've, I've, never never I've never seen that in the UK, to be honest. Um, oh. the, the rarest one we get is the um augustina but that that was available for a short while mm. I, I never got around to it and it's all gone now so but that's yeah, the hard get, one yeah because we get hot boy we get paulana and i'd reviewed i checked because i thought i thought i hadn't i thought there was one that I hadn't reviewed i thought i hadn't reviewed the spaten yeah uh, but apparently i had apparently i had reviewed the spaten yeah the, reviewed, the ones i've got so i've just got behind me um yeah so that so the Hofbrau, Paulina, um then Lowenbrau, uh Erdinger, mm -hmm. er, er, Erdinger, and then Einger, er, and, and then the Spartan. That's the ones. Plus I've done like Schneiderweiss, um Fest Festweiss uh, number tap number four. Oh yeah, yeah. Um the the Ren Stefan Fest beer. Um, there's another one, but I can't. Oh, um, the ABK. I can't. I can't pronounce the brewery. It, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. Um, mm. Which is a fest beer as well. So yeah, yeah. So that's that's the ones I've yeah. I've done. So mm. but, yeah. yeah, I want to get, try and get more of the stuff from the classic it's, it's from the Munich Six done. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How easy is that? For, just out of interest, Davor, how easy is that for you to get in Slovenia? Munich 6 quite easy for you to get. Uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite hard to get that uh, that traditional beers. But uh, one bottle shop, uh, they have Andex. Uh, oh, Andex. Uh, Einger. Yeah, mm. Andex. We, they, 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 they are, man, uh, they beers are quite good, uh, especially Doppelbock. It's, it's really solid, text, textbook uh, Doppelbock. Uh, and also Einger. Uh, I think five or six different beers <laughs> are Sorry. available here. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Some, some shops also, like big shops, uh, especially because it, like a Spar, it's owned by, uh, it's Austrian, Austrian brand. Mm. Uh, there is some time available Hacker Shore, uh, they are Keller and also Weizen. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the other ones, like Craig mentioned, uh, a B key, A B key. Hmm. That's correct. Ah, I've not, or, I've not had, I've not had those guys before. Yeah, I, I didn't also never heard about them, so I'm not familiar with that brewery at all. Me, me neither. A B key, A B K. Yeah, yeah, A B key. Because Th Thomas and I uh, really live, uh, live near the near the German border, mm. 
So for us, for us, it's not that difficult to get German beers. Mm. Have, have yeah, you yeah, ever yeah, heard yeah. of a, a, ABK, uh, Thomas? No, man. Yeah, I never cross the border to get beers. I, I support my locals, not my internationals. <laughs> It's, it's, um, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't like foreign beer. Foreign beer. I'll, um, foreign beer. I'll put a link. I'll put a link in the private chat for it for the uh, the untapped page for that beer. Please do That's so. Yeah. Yeah. So so it gives you an. Uh, you you might be able to pronounce it better than me. Well, you will what? be. <laughs> but I can't. But, but to can't Thomas, hmm? there was a time that Germany wasn't uh, foreign. Dude, dude, no, no, no. <laughs> especially not, especially not an Arnhem. No, I mean, yeah, I really do. And again, that's a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why they still call it Arnheim in, instead of Arnhem. Oh my! No, oh. it's oh, so, so yeah. Oh man. I, I need to get some more German beers. I think it might be that I'm going home through Germany, so I might stop in Hamburg and get a few things. But we'll need to see. Yeah, you we'll need to get help. Yeah. yeah, to see see when the supermarkets and stuff shut. I think I'm not getting to Brussels this time by the sounds of it. So, yeah. uh, have you ever drank beers from Frau Gruber or not? Yeah, we'll see. I mean. The, I mean, the thing is, is my, I've got an exam on the Thursday and the airline were being a pain about changing my flight to the Wednesday. So I was just like, well, I was going to pay quite a bit of money for a hotel in Brussels and Chris wasn't going to be free. All the bars and stuff are shut. So mm -hmm. it's just like, well, just cancel the hotel. I think I only paid like 40 euros for the flight anyway, and I can get home with the buses for about 40 as well. So I was just like, well, just call Brussels. I missed this time. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe next time. It, 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 it's dodgy planning anything now. Yeah. The way things are going in Europe, it's uh, unfortunately, yeah. it's just. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I think I think when it comes to, I think to be honest, when it comes to the virus, I think I've probably caught it in Sweden because of the whole, uh, the, the poly, yeah, there's not really been social distancing and stuff in Sweden. So, well, there has been, but I think it's based on the policy is herd immunity. So. We've just, it's just kind of been do whatever, to be honest, rather than than uh, kind of plowing on and things. But yeah, Ugh. we'll just need to see, we'll just need to see how it goes. You know, it's just uh, I, I honestly think I, I've probably had it and been one of the ones who's been lucky and not shown symptoms. So, yeah, I think. Uh, You're not saying. I'm in you. Yeah, I think. Sorry. I think that's probably been it. Yeah, I think I've probably not had the symptoms and stuff. So, uh, uh, we'll see. I think. No, okay. It, yeah, I think it's been. You don't want to hmm? have thoughts about what you're drinking. Oh, this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Of a mister, uh, from a beer. And that's why you're not. Looking for ah, the mystery. Yeah, the, the mystery beer. Ah, yes, the mystery beer is for no, me. No, 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 don't mystery beers. If you uh, get a drink and you don't have it earlier, mm -hmm. then you. Oh, I, I understand you. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, I mean, I think it, yeah, miss, yeah, we were having this chat about mystery beers. As I no, say, no, I'm, no, it's not about mystery beers. All the beers. All the beers. Yeah, try all the beers in the world. All yeah. the beers. <laughs> but uh, did you uh, try? Uh, did you uh, see reviews about the beers you drink? Oh, what? I mean, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, for example, if Craig or Douglas has reviewed the beer, like I won't watch their reviews yeah. until I've done it myself. That's so, why yeah. you want to thought for yourself. Yeah, exactly. What kind of beer? Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. No, that's. Just, what I want to yeah, yeah, no, that, that's yeah. why. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. I think it's. I think. I think. You Craig, understand. I think that's what Craig. I'm sure Craig said. Craig, you said you do that as well. That you won't watch a review until you've. Uh, you won't. That you wouldn't watch my review until you've tried the beer yourself. Yeah, I mean, 
if I know I'm probably never going to try it, or it won't be for a few years, and I'll forget anyway, then I'll um, I'll I'll, I'll generally watch. But mm. if I know I'm, sure, like, I forget. Then, Mm. Is, is is that because you want you don't want to get in there with, with a uh, uh, perceived conf uh, uh, how do you say yeah. it uh, perceived uh, notion? Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I don't want um, opinion. I, I don't want to be going into the review with an opinion in my head of someone else what they think of it. I'd, I'd rather just go in and if it matches up the same, great. If it doesn't, then that's just different taste, isn't it? So mm. yeah. I think it's better for me anyway. But, 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 but however, it, 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 yeah, it, it is your review. Yeah, so even, if, wanna... even though if I review it, it's yeah. it's your opinion because you're yeah. the one well, that's tasting it. In your head, you have uh, heard some things. Yeah. I, I, I'd rather... Well, or the... No, no. <laughs> uh, the... Like, uh, uh, the, the, I don't know. The smoke beer. Yeah. The small beers, yeah. The I'd, man, rather be a, man. I'd rather it be a surprise. So I think that's probably what it is. I'd rather just be so pleasantly surprised by mm. rather than have an idea already before I before I try it kind of thing. But yeah, I think that's 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 just it really. Mm. Like like a, like a preconceived notion, or how do you say that in, yeah, in English? No, I, I just yeah. it, it takes away that kind of if you're expecting it to be a certain way or before you even tried it and I don't I don't want that I, I want it just to be like opening okay. a Christmas present if you like just like you don't know what it's gonna you've got an idea but you don't you don't know until you try it kind of thing or if you watch a review of a style or a certain beer then um, for me at least um, it, it kind of takes a, little bit, takes a little bit off off, off the, you, you're expecting it, and then it comes through. It's like, uh, yeah. So it kind of, for me, it just takes a little edge off it. But, but yeah. I, ca I kind of know. I kind of know what you mean. Yeah. That's that's the word. You want your own view. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you want your own. Yeah, view. yeah. Yeah, that's it. What, 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 what are you drinking right now, Greg? Um, I'm, I'm, fitting, oh, well, the um. The Brewdog Audi collaboration, uh, Audi IPA. Um, okay. It's just a sessionable IPA. Um, it's a really, for what it is, it's a 4.7 IPA, but it's um, the price you pay for it, 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 it it's it's fantastic, I think. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's really. Tasty? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, for, for the style of session IPA, it's, you know, it's it's one of the better ones actually. I think it's um it's got full of flavour. Um, it's not too um. There's a little bit of bitterness there, but not much. You wouldn't expect it on on you know on on, on this, but it goes down quite easy. There's there's plenty of flavour and a low ABV. It's yeah, does the job. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cheers to you. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, guys, that it's getting quite close to. Sort of twelve o'clock ish. I think we're yeah. all yeah. a little bit kind of sleepy, to be honest. At least Tom, Thomas and I are, and we need we need some we need to be awake for our bum, you know. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're gonna let spoony spoony like on us. Spoony spoony, we're gonna we're gonna make Fleur very jealous, and she'll storm out the house later. So yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. He's been relegated to the couch. <laughs> oh, nice. Just Thomas, Thomas, and I. Or I get two. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, no, it's it's good. We've got Thomas to. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, there he is again. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Thomas. It's your move. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah, I think I think we should maybe we'll end the live part of it there on on that bombshell. Um, so yeah, no, guys, it was cool to do this, especially to be to have to be here with Thomas and Fleur, and then to have Davor, Craig, and Douglas along as well. So yeah, guys, um, if you are friends with Davor on Untapped, peer pressure the fuck out of him to start his own channel. Channel, 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 channel. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, if if you do come into contact with Davar, yes, peer pressure the shit out of him to make his own channel because this guy has a ridiculous knowledge of beer. He has a ridiculous cellar and he needs to share it with the world. And he's he he's a very naughty man for not doing so already. But we still love him anyway. Yeah, that's nice. true. Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a he, he's a but he's but he is our Slavic sausage. Don't take yes. that away from okay. us. Dream, okay. dream, <laughs> dreams, 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 dream squasher. Yeah. No, don't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> dream squasher. Yeah, but guess guys, um, Douglas is just getting started off with his channel as well. So um, I need to remember to go in afterwards and put the links in because I think I just did this straight off the bat. But yeah. Go in and give Douglas a... When's your first video going to publish, Douglas? Yeah, Douglas. Um, I, I'm, I'm free now for, uh, for a few days. Um, I had a quite busy time. Um, my social media is almost up and running. Uh, so um, in the next few days, I will post my first video. It's, it will be an unboxing. And uh, today I received some beers from Remy. That will also might be an unboxing. Nice. And after that, uh, my first uh, review will come. On. Okay. So um, as soon as possible. Cool, cool. Yeah, we need to. Are you going to review in English? Or are you going to review in Dutch? Uh, first of all, I'm going to do in Dutch, but perhaps some reviews in English. I will try. Yeah. No, that's maybe the Swedish beers you should do. So maybe you can use some of the Swedish stuff that I'm giving you for the for some of the English reviews. Because I'd be curious. That, that's the thing for me. I'm curious to see what you think of these these beers. Um, I don't make a promise, but perhaps I will do so. Mm, yeah. Or perhaps we that, will uh, we, we will review all together in English. Mm -hmm. Like now. Yeah, we could do we could do that. Yeah, we could. I definitely be keen for the scone slager together. That would be a cool one. Um, but yeah, and uh, yeah, no, so that's yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to your first videos, Douglas. Yeah, and thank um, you. Yeah, thank yeah, no, definitely. And uh, yeah, guys, as well. Big shout out to Craig. Nice to have him along with us tonight. And, Thanks, buddy. And uh, yeah. I'm sure yeah. we'll, we'll see Craig back. At, we'll see Craig's channel back up and running very, very soon. I hope. Uh, Craig, just uh, just a quick question before we go. And uh, uh, are you also on Untapped on the on the can beer reviews yeah, or yeah. not? On, on, I'm on, on Untapped, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, yeah, right across. So mm. just do okay, a I will find you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I was just, I was just checking. I, um, I was going to add you as a, a friend on uh, Facebook. Actually, I did. I just, my, my mind's a bit everywhere, but I did see it earlier. I'll find it again. We'll sort it out. Can be great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, will be great. Yeah. 100%. Right, guys, we've got two more comments. So, uh, Joe is finding problems getting all the Oktoberfest beers. And um, then uh, Vila is saying, Echt Schrenkela Rauch Beer Urbock. Oh, yeah. That is an absolute oh. beast. It's an absolute beast. I don't know whether I prefer that or the Eiche Doppelbock, but they're both. Yeah, awesome. I've, had, I've had the double bock uh, recently as well. And I've got a few reviews in the wood actually to, to to post, but I'm just, you know, I'm just about five or six, but I'm just holding back at the moment with them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And we've got massive Matt just popping in to see oh, good look. Cool. Toodles, <laughs> toodles. <laughs> three last comments. Yeah. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you in for the last look. It's a shame you couldn't join Matt actually. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. No, Matt's yeah. been Matt's been really truly. Great contact me recently, and uh, I pre he, he sent me the link last night for a show. But yeah, I wasn't I wasn't quite um, in the frame of mind. But yeah, yeah. well, as we Appreciate say, it. as we all as we say, Craig, don't uh, reach out when you need to. We got you. Yeah, it's all it's all peaks and troughs, and you know moods and moody moody bastard. But yeah, you know what I mean. It's that sort of deal. Yeah. <laughs> It just is what it is. But well, yeah. that's it. As we said, you reach out when you need to. No, but I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a stranger either. So it's like, yeah, I'm trying to balance that. Mm. So, that's yeah. it. Do what you do what you need to do. Don't be scared to reach out when you need to reach out, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, on that note, that's probably a good time for us to kind of yes. to go off uh, to go off live. Um, 
But uh, yeah, Matt was saying he's going to join, but yeah, we're all kind of just wrapping up. Next time, buddy. Next time, yeah. Next time, I'll, 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 I'll be, Next time I'll, Matt. I'll, 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 I'll be around. So. Mm. It's going to be cool. Well, you, can't, you can't join because you're, you're the host. So. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, th- I suppose that's the thing. Matt's not, I wouldn't have shared it in the chats that Matt would be in. I should have sent it to Matt directly. Never thought of that. But um, yeah, no, next time we'll do it. We'll sort something We'll sort something out. Need to get, Peter's not been on the channel in a very long time. He's busy raking leaves. He's busy raking leaves. <laughs> <laughs> he said they're not Belgian leaves either, so that's not good. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, well, but yeah, guys, but yeah, guys, all of you who have been watching and things like that, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, we need to get Matt. Matt, I don't think Matt's ever actually joined one of my live streams. We need to get Matt in yeah. one of the live streams. Yeah. And Rod, Rod's never joined either. We need to get Rod along. Um, but yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, guys, yeah. let's take it off just now. We've just reached two minutes, two hours fifty. So yeah, we'll call it quits mm-hmm. there. But, but yeah, guys, cheers to everyone. Thanks for all. Take the care, everybody. Cheers. Um, Cheers. Cheers.